What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 5KY, Chapter 101 Back to the Carbine. 4, for subscription. Mao Zihua looked at Yu Taifeng's leaving figure, feeling a moment of loss in her heart. At this moment, Chojiro Sasaki had already come to her. He looked anxious and said, Captain Zihua, the current situation of the captain is very critical, I don't know. With the disappearance of the Black Gate, Ujihua also followed Chojiro to Yamamoto's side. When she saw the seriously injured and dying old man lying on the ground, she couldn't help but frown slightly. Because she could tell at a glance that Yamamoto is now in serious condition and is dying of serious injuries. However, at this time, Yu Taifeng's figure involuntarily appeared in Ujihua's mind. She shook her head gently, and after concentrating her thoughts, she began to heal Yamamoto's injuries. At this moment, the, 757, People in the three stories and three books surrounded the flowers of Mao, for fear that something unexpected would disturb her. A faint green light wrapped Yamamoto's whole body, and began to repair his wounds all over his body with difficulty. With the passage of time, the scorched skin on Yamamoto's body began to slowly recover. However, a scary wound extending from the neck to the abdomen, although it had begun to scab, it could not heal. At this time, Wang Yu also walked in through Renjunyang. Since most of the onlookers don't understand Kaido, they can only look at it eagerly. Jashiro Yukataki, who was sitting cross-legged, had a look of surprise on his face. As everyone knows, Jashiro Yukataki's physical condition has not been very good, and he naturally knows some Kaido after a long illness. However, at this time, when he saw that hideous wound, he had already guessed something vaguely. Wang Yu looked at Yamamoto, who had run out of oil, and sighed heavily. When he saw the stubborn wound, he also found something wrong with it. He hurried to the side of Ujihua and observed with serious eyes. After a while, a look of shock flashed in his eyes. Mao Zihua, this wound seems to be temporarily stabilized first. If you want a complete cure, I guess I can only go to Kuantang Ghost. Wang Yu said, shaking his head gently. Chun Shui and the others who gathered around obviously didn't expect things to be so serious. Chojiro Sasaki, who was most emotional, was trembling slightly at this moment. He trembled and said, Captain Ujihua, what the hell is going on? Why is this happening? Isn't it possible that your Kaido technique can't heal Captain Healing's injury? Wang Yu saw everyone's performance in his eyes, with a helpless expression on his face. There is a mysterious force in the biggest wound, which has been devouring and destroying the healing Kaido Link C. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Wu Zihua can only temporarily suppress it now, so as not to let the terrifying energy contained in it burst out. If you want to completely cure this wound and prevent secondary damage to Yamamoto, now you can only carry him to the Kailan Palace. Wang Yu continued to observe the changes in the wound, while explaining. After a while, Ujihua gently wiped the sweat from her head with her sleeves. Then he said softly, don't worry, everyone, the captain's injury has been temporarily controlled. Shojiro Sasaki walked to the side of Wang Yu with a serious face, bent his whole body to 90 degrees, and respectfully bowed to the latter. Excitedly said, Master Sword God, I'm pleased with you, Master Captain. Wang Yu looked at the worried people around him and said with a smile, Don't worry, you can carry Yamamoto and follow me now. After that, everyone gathered around and prepared to leave the Sokyoku station. Rukia looked at Yukuya Kuchiki who was lying on the ground receiving treatment, and felt guilty in her heart. Big brother, are you okay? Rukia said, looking at Yukuya worriedly. Yukuya Kuchiki closed his eyes lightly, but nodded quietly. At this time, he couldn't help but think of his wife's exhortation to himself when his wife passed away. While everyone on the Sokyoku stage was busy performing their duties, they only felt an inexplicable spatial fluctuation, which suddenly appeared above the Sokyoku stage. A black gate appeared in the sky, and Yu Taifeng also slowly walked out of it. Be alert. Protect the captain. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Oh my god. Why did he come back again? All are in a state of preparation. When everyone saw Yu Taifeng's figure, they all shouted nervously. They can't figure out why Yu Taifeng, who has just left, is back again. Shojiro Sasaki rushed out first, holding Zanpakuto in his hand tightly, his eyes full of deep hostility. Hiraku Shunsui and others also turned their heads and looked around, and their swords were full of vigilance and worry. As if not seeing these people, Yu Taifeng walked straight to the direction of Yamamoto's powerful country. If you go one step further, we will be welcome. Even if the fish die and the net is broken, we must protect the captain. Ready to fight. Re. Wang Yu looked at Yu Taifeng who appeared suddenly, and was a little confused for a while. A strange look flashed in Ujihua's eyes, but she quickly recovered, her eyes softly looking at Yu Taifeng's figure. Cough cough cough. A fierce cough came from Yamamoto Shigukuni's mouth, and then he sat up on the stretcher with some difficulty, staring at Yu Taifeng silently. Great. The captain is awake. Captain. Are you okay? Teacher Yuan Lujai. Are you okay? Old man Sean. You scared me. Point 1.6. Yamamoto Shigukuni met the excited eyes of the surrounding subordinates and nodded slightly to them. Yu Taifeng looked at Yamamoto Chongguo calmly, and asked, where is the Kuchiki Sound River? Everyone originally thought that another big battle was about to happen, and they were all ready to fight. However, when they heard these words, they would feel relieved. 
However, it can be seen from the expressions of everyone that they did not relax their vigilance. Yamamoto Chongguo did not answer this question, and looked at Yu Taifeng not far away without saying a word for a long time. Quote, dot, quote. A wave of majestic Reiatsu spewed out from Yu Taifeng's body, whizzing towards Yamamoto's heavy country with a burst of air. At this time, a cold voice came from a distance. Chapter 102 Sealed Land 5. Seeking Subscription. Yu Taifeng and Ichigo and others entered the entrance of the crossing gate, and the atmosphere in the space passage was a bit depressed for a while. Except for Yoruichi's expression which is fairly normal, everyone else seems a little restrained. Although Inoue Orihime felt nervous for a while, she still secretly stared at the back figure who was walking in the front. At this time, Yoruichi, who had been walking behind everyone, suddenly speeded up. She came to Yu Taifeng and asked tentatively, Teacher, I remember Yurahara once told me, he said. Yu Taifeng looked at Yoruichi who was hesitant to speak, and smiled and said, Am I that scary? Yurahara, what did he say? After Yoruichi saw the bright eyes of the other party, he didn't know why. Suddenly, his heart was like a deer bumping, and his heartbeat could not help but speed up a little. She hurriedly settled her mind, blushing awkwardly and said, Teacher, Yurahara said that he used to be in Karakura town somewhere and felt the faint sound of Reiatsu. Yu Taifeng just remembered that he seemed to have forgotten one thing. At that time, he promised Yamada Kianosuke, trying to save the sealed Kuchiki Koga. Thinking of this, he said to Yoruichi next to him, You go back to Yurahara first, I have something to go back in 07. When Yoruichi just wanted to speak, he only saw that Yu Taifeng had turned and left quickly, and disappeared in a flash. Ichigo and the others, who had not yet figured out the situation, only felt a dark shadow passing by them, completely unaware of what had happened. Yoruichi Sama, how about teachers and others? Inoue Orihime asked curiously. Go back and do something. Yoruichi turned to respond as he continued walking forward. Teacher he won't have. Inoue Orihime hadn't finished speaking yet, only then did I realize that I was worried a bit too much. Afterwards, the group walked out of the gate and returned to Karakura town. Yu Taifeng, who returned to Seoul society, felt the weak Reiatsu of Yamamoto's power from the beginning. After seeing Yamamoto being carried by everyone, he felt helpless. Yu Taifeng did not expect that the other party would be so badly injured. While he was still thinking about how to ask where Shanghai was sealed, he only saw Yamamoto sit up from the stretcher with some difficulty. However, Yamamoto's silent attitude really made him feel unhappy. As he was about to attack, he only heard a cold voice in his ears. I know where he is. With the help of Rukia, Yukuya Kuchiki slowly got up and said. At this moment, not only Yu Taifeng, but everyone else on the court also turned their attention to Yukuya Kuchiki. Rukia looked at the figure not far away, but there was a panic in her heart. At first, when Yukuya told her about Yu Taifeng's deeds, she still didn't believe it. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Today, however, not only Aizen was deflated in Yu Taifeng's hands, but even Yamamoto was seriously injured by him. Thinking of this, a feeling of fear from the heart instantly appeared in Rukia's heart. Yukuya Kuchiki looked at Yamamoto Shigakuni, who was seriously injured, and nodded slightly at him. Then he said softly, I know where the Kuchiki Shanghai is. Dot 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 dot. Yu Taifeng looked at Yukuya, who was looking calm, and his figure flickered and came next to him for an instant. Where is he? Yu Taifeng asked coldly. Yukuya Kuchiki looked at Yu Taifeng in front of him, frowned slightly, and replied, A hundred years ago, grandfather and Captain Yamamoto sealed Kuchiki Kuchiki. Because both he and Zanpakuto village Masa have terrible powers. Therefore, after discussing with the Captain Yamamoto, the grandfather finally chose to seal them in Karakura town, one of the most important places in the world. As for the specific location, Yukuya didn't conceal anything, and said everything he knew. In fact, what he just said can be regarded as the secret of Seoul society and Kuchiki's family. However, even a strong man like Yamamoto was seriously injured, and Yukuya could only tell what he knew. A few minutes later, Yu Taifeng also got the information he wanted. He nodded slightly before turning around and leaving. At this moment, Wang Yu came to him in an instant. The current Wang Yu has returned to his usual carefree appearance. He patted Yu Taifeng on the shoulder lightly, and said helplessly, I didn't expect you to be able to severely wound that guy Yamamoto. It's incredible. I think he won't be as stubborn as he used to be when everything comes to light. If you get tired of staying in this world, come to me. Okay, I'm going to take that guy Yamamoto to the Kailan Temple, so I won't be with you too much. Quote. Yu Taifeng looked at Wang Yu in front of him, smiled a little helplessly, and said, This world is much more interesting than Seoul society, so let's do it. Before leaving, Yu Taifeng turned around and glanced at Yamamoto, who was clearly still bracing, and shook his head with a chuckle, which turned into an afterimage and disappeared. The crowd on the Sokyoku stage looked at the piercing gate that was gradually disappearing from the sky, and couldn't help but feel relieved. Under the leadership of Chojiro Sasaki and others, they became busy with their duties. Yu Zihua looked up at the figure disappearing in the gate of the crossing, sighed softly, and then walked far away with everyone. Now, Karakura Town, in the depths of a certain mountain, more than a dozen people wearing standard black suits and headscarves are climbing over the mountain front at the highest point of the mountain. On the top of the mountain, the woods of Mazaza look like a huge black blanket hat buckled on the cliff. In the green jungle, clusters of unknown wild flowers popped up on the rock wall. 
when everyone overcame this high mountain and began to descend towards the mountain. 757 They also continued on their way, and they got together in twos and threes and started chatting together. What a bad luck, he was sent to such a ghost place to perform a temporary mission. Yes, obviously there are other faster methods, but the above has to let us use the way of ordinary people to hurry, which is really troublesome. Don't you know that the recent soul society is very chaotic? Even the high-class nobles of the Sunayashiro family have been wiped out by people, and I feel a little scary when I think about it. You don't know this, I heard that when we set out. There seems to be something serious on the Sokyoku stand. Real or fake, more than a dozen members of the Kido congregation, you are discussing with each other every word. At this moment, the leader who was walking in the forefront turned and shouted under his opponent, We are not here to visit the mountains this time. The task given to us this time is very important. As for why let us be like ordinary people, that is to prevent our Rayatsu from touching certain restrictions. Stop talking nonsense, hurry up and get to your destination as soon as possible. The people who were still talking about the world, after hearing the leader's words, all closed their mouths obediently. After returning to Karakura town from Seoul Society, Yu Taifung first returned to the Urahara store. After talking about what happened just now, he decisively refused everyone's request and drove to the sealed place of Kuchiki Shanghai alone. Chapter 103 Shanghai Escape 1. Seek Subscription. By the lake deep in the mountain, more than a dozen keto crowds, led by the leader, finally arrived at the destination of their trip. At this time, a wave of energy that seemed to be breathtaking came from not far from the shore of the lake. A trace of jealousy flashed in the eyes of the leader, and he commanded, first take a break and wait for everyone to be free from distractions before starting this mission. Also, be sure to control your Reyatsu and don't let Reyatsu leak out. After taking the order, everyone sat on the ground and carefully began to guide Reyatsu inside, trying to prevent their minds from being eroded by that inexplicable force. After a long time, everyone including the leader slowly entered the state. Waves of light green light surrounded the people, and the nervous expressions on their faces slowly disappeared. Instead, there is a kind of tranquility and harmony from the inside out. That breathtaking mysterious energy slowly began to dissipate at this time. The leader looked at the subordinates who were ready, cleared his throat and said softly, now let's talk about the main points of this mission. A few minutes later, everyone's faces were full of enlightenment, and they all smiled at each other and stood in the corresponding positions according to the previous plan. Four weird long-handled weapons that resemble axe and you are covered with moss and dust, and they are inserted in the four directions of a small mound in the south, east, north, and west. When they stood beside the long-handled weapon, they nodded their hands one after another, and began to chant an obscure spell. At this moment, four colors of red, yellow, blue and green began to flash in the four directions of southeast, northwest and northwest. Accompanied by the chanting of the crowd, a roar echoed in the sky above the lakeshore. After seeing this scene, the leader couldn't help but frown slightly, urging everyone to increase the intensity of singing. When the four-color light here became brighter and brighter, the angry roar that had just disappeared slowly. As everyone's tense nerves slowly relaxed, a louder roar resounded over this area. At this time, a member who seemed to be relatively young started to turn pale and dull. But the other member beside him did not notice the abnormality of his companion at all. Go hard, it's going to be done soon. The leader loudly encouraged everyone. However, at this time, a golden electric light roared towards everyone. With a violent explosion, several members fell into the billowing dust and smoke. The leader looked at the changed companion and decisively used an offensive keto to kill the opponent. Everyone looked at the weird scene on the court, and their eyes widened in shock. At this moment, their faces also became ugly. As everyone relaxed their vigilance, a purple phantom quietly appeared above their heads. Read more at mtlarchive.com. I saw this phantom roaring, and rushed towards one of the members with bursts of weird purple light. No, this is a phantom he made. If the seal is not reinforced, he is likely to break the seal. All guard their positions. Fortunately, the above has prepared a backhand for us just in case. The leader said with a nervous expression. He took out an old scroll from his arms, covered Reyatsu in his body on the scroll, and let out an angry shout. Boom. A group of red and black thunderclouds slowly began to condense over this area, and in a blink of an eye there was lightning and thunder, wind and rain. There is no reason to retreat from the military chief with eight inches. The blue gate, the white gate, the black gate, and the red gate. After biting each other, they fell into the sea, the gate of the dragon's tail, the gate of the tiger's bite, the gate of the turtle armor, the gate of the phoenix wings. The four beasts blocked the door. While the leader exploded all the spiritual power in his body, he clenched the scroll in his hand with both hands and began to chant. This scroll was actually prepared just in case before they performed the task. When the chant was over, four large gates descended from the sky, enclosing the small mound in all directions. When everyone was ready to celebrate, they only felt a suffocating Reyatsu falling from the sky, and instantly crushed them to the ground. Yu Taifung slowly landed from the air, looking calmly at the, four beasts blocking the door, not far away. He stretched out his right hand casually, and began to gather the surrounding spirits and Reyatsu inside his hands. Boom! Accompanied by a loud noise that shook the earth and the earth, a purple lightning bolt instantly bombarded the four gates of blue, white, black and red into ashes. With the disappearance of the, four beasts, the already unstable seals began to loosen. Who are you? Why are you here? You broke our seal. The one sealed here is the sinner of soul society. 
You are done. The Keto people in this team shouted angrily, but Yu Taifeng completely regarded them as air, just quietly looking at the center of the seal. The scarlet blood shot straight into the sky, and disappeared in an instant. Accompanied by bursts of anger, a purple figure appeared in midair out of thin air. What? After an angry shout, these Keto people seemed to have controlled their minds, and they started to kill each other. A few minutes later, more than a dozen corpses were lying on the ground, and Yu Taifeng just looked at everything around him calmly. After the purple figure uttered a violent howl, he raised the weapon in his hand and rushed towards Yu Taifeng. He roared and vented, as if to release all the anger and resentment in his heart. However, when he was about to rush to the ground, he could see who the figure was. Teacher, is that you? Teacher, Kuchiki Shanghe appeared in front of Yu Taifeng with an afterimage, and said excitedly. Yu Taifeng quietly looked at Shanghe on one knee, finally showing a faint smile on his calm face. Zhao Li Zhao, sounding the river, long time no see. Yu Taifeng said. Kuchiki Shanghe looked respectful, looking at the familiar and unfamiliar figure in front of him, and for a while, tears fell like rain. Let's go, Urahara and they are already waiting for you. Yu Taifeng patted his shoulder gently, and said with a smile. After Kuchiki Shanghe saluted again respectfully, he followed Yu Taifeng closely. Afterwards, the two turned into two black afterimages and disappeared into the original instantly. A few months later, with the help of Urahara and others, Kuchiki Shanghe gradually adapted to life in this world. Yu Taifeng still teaches at Karakura No. 1 High School, and witnessed the growth of Ichigo and others. On this day, just as he was about to go to class, he received a notice from the school's admissions office that there would be a new classmate in his class. Chapter 104 Hiroko's Plan 2. Subscription Required. Now, Karakura Town, in a large warehouse. 8 Yao Shuangya, hidden. I saw a plump middle-aged man with pink hair and a light green suit making his hands and making a soft drink. Hey, Bo Zon, can your voice be lower? Another blonde girl in red sportswear walked slowly to the fat man and shouted at him. Hisei, don't you see that Bo Zon is using Keto to hide our base? Hiroko Shinji with the golden sister's head looked at Hiori with a fresh look, and said. Boom. I saw that there was no hesitation in Hiroko, he turned around and hit Hiroko's nose with a fist, curled his lips and snorted coldly, bald. You are so much nonsense. Hiroko Shinji who was punched inexplicably, jumped into a thunder, and soon fought with the two of Hiroko. After Muguruma Kensai and others saw this accustomed scene, their faces were full of helplessness, and they let them mess around there. After a while, both Hiroko and Hiori stared at each other out of breath, seeming to be in a position of disagreement and action. At this time, Hachigan looked at the two with a kind smile, and then turned his gaze to Hiroko. He whispered and asked, Hey, Ping 757, when you went to Urahara the other day, did he tell you anything new? After hearing Hachigan's words, everyone stopped the noise and turned their attention to Hiroko Shinji. After Hiroko was silent for a while, he said with a serious face, Aizen has taken Bang away. What? How can this be? Aizen, I won't let him go. Hiroko looked at the excited crowd, sighed softly, and then said, Urahara also told me that the teacher and Yoruichi had taken a group of little guys to Soul Society. Although the teacher could stop Aizen at the time, he did not know why but let him go. Then the teacher had a fight with Yamamoto. Hiroko Shinji's remarks could not help shocking everyone because these few sentences contain too much information. Therefore, they all bowed their heads and thought. After a while, Hiori said excitedly, Aizen not only snatched Hogyoku, but also escaped. I'm so mad. A-H-B-G, teacher teacher. Muguruma Kensai shook his head helplessly, and watched Hiori speak, since the teacher let Aizen go, then there must be his reason, we must trust the teacher. Read more at mtlarchive.com. But I am very curious about who won the battle between the teacher and Yamamoto in the end. Quote. Kuna Mashiro wearing a white tights, pouted and said, Xiao Ri Ri, are you suspicious of the teacher? In my opinion, the teacher's strength is the strongest. The teacher must have won that battle. When Yadomaru Lisa on the side heard the word, teacher, there was a blush on his face, and he didn't know what was thinking in his mind. She did not participate in the conversation at all, but seemed to make up for herself. After discussing for a while, everyone turned their eyes back to Hiroko. Hiroko grinned and revealed his two rows of big white teeth, and then continued, as you said just now, the teacher not only won, but Yamamoto was seriously injured. In fact, I feel that the grievances between us and Aizen cannot involve the teacher. After all, with the strength of his old man, it is very simple to clean up Aizen. But this time, I want to tell you good news. Urahara told me this secretly. Everyone looked helpless at Hiroko, who was selling off the hook. It was the most direct in the Japanese world. He yelled directly at Hiroko, you stinky girl. Don't sell it, otherwise, I will hit you all over the floor. Quickly tell us what Urahara said. Quickly, quickly. Hiroko Shinji couldn't help but think about the excitement in Urahara's heart when he told himself the news. After glancing at the crowd with a smug look on his face, he said with a sullen voice, Urahara told me that the little guy that the teacher brought to Soul Society this time has virtual power in his body. Although he has mastered Bankai now, listening to Urahara said that the little guy's use of Hollow's power is simply unreasonable. So, I have a bold idea. For a while, everyone talked and discussed again. After receiving the notice from the school, Yu Taifeng sat in the office and waited for the new students to report. 
When Hiroko Shinji came outside the office under the leadership of the admissions teacher, he seemed to see a back figure that he knew very well. But he thought about it again, and it was probably because he was thinking too much. After all, in his opinion, there are so many coincidences in the world. However, when Yu Taifeng turned to Hiroko and walked slowly, he was completely confused for a moment. Hiroko is very regretful now, why didn't you ask Urahara clearly, why did you volunteer to come to school? Yu Taifeng looked at Hiroko in front of him with a smile, patted him on the shoulder and said, Hiroko, long time no see. When Hiroko saw the bright smile on Yu Taifeng's face, he couldn't help but think of the days when they were trained at the Spiritual Arts Academy hundreds of years ago. Thinking of this, Hiroko felt a sense of powerlessness from the heart. I forgot to say hello to the teacher just now. Hiroko, who was perplexed, reacted and hurriedly bowed to Yu Taifeng to say hello, picked up a piece of chalk and wrote his name on the blackboard. When the classmates saw the words on the blackboard, they couldn't help being speechless for a while. Hiroko, with a burst of mentality, looked at Yu Taifeng's away back, only then did he think of a very serious problem. Dot 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 dot. Let's go, go to the classroom with me to meet your new classmates. Yu Taifeng turned around and walked towards the classroom. Isn't this guy like Urahara and the others, who was also a student of the teacher? Kurosaki Ichigo looked at the new classmate who was respectful to Yu Taifeng on the podium, and unexpectedly came up with an inexplicable idea. Report. It's like looking at the words in a mirror after writing normally. Because, this new classmate who seemed to have a great respect for the teacher actually wrote his name upside down. When the two teachers and students came to the classroom, Yu Taifeng said to the classmates, Classmates, we have a new classmate in our class today. Welcome. Share. He never thought that he was just to get close to Ichigo, but he could meet Yu Taifeng here. Chapter 105 Encounter Erenkar 3 Seeking Subscription After the one-day course was over, Yu Taifeng patronized the wine house he often went to as usual. In the blink of an eye, it was late at night, and he was full of wine and food and walked to his residence graciously. In fact, when he received the notification of the freshman report today, he had already guessed who came. It has been several months since I returned to this world from Seoul Society last time. During this period, Ichigo often skipped classes for no reason, and Yu Taifeng naturally understood what he was doing. After all, Ichigo is still acting as Shinigami and needs to clean up the vacancies in Karakura town. As for Inoue Orihime and others, they are still in class every day. When Hiroko Shinji appeared, Yu Taifeng also naturally thought of the follow-up plot in Shinigami's original work. Hiroko revealed his identity as a mask to Ichigo, and Ichigo was also trained by Hiroko and others because he couldn't control the power of hollow in his body. Thinking of this, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but laughed. It seems that everything is developing in accordance with the plot, proceeding in an orderly and unprepared manner. Next, Aizen's research on Erenkar will be basically mature. Thinking of the box spirits of the Erenkar core, Yu Taifeng couldn't help showing a smile on his face. Unknowingly it was late at night, Yu Taifeng went home and rested for a while, ready to watch TV and drink a few swigs. But somewhat embarrassingly, he found that there was no more alcohol in the refrigerator at home. In line with the principle of not treating yourself badly, Yu Taifeng just cleaned up and walked to a nearby convenience store. Who would have thought that Yu Taifeng met Kuchiki Shanghei just after walking to the convenience store? I saw Shanghei wearing a white t-shirt and a blue apron from the Urahara store, looking at his teacher in surprise. Teacher, why are you here? Kuchiki asked with a puzzled look after hearing his respectful salute. Looking at the bewildered Shanghei in front of him, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but feel a little speechless. Because what Shanghei just said was exactly what he wanted to ask. After talking for a while, Yu Taifeng understood the whole story. Urahara store also has some additional services, such as replenishment of convenience stores in several districts nearby. As the store manager, Urahara Kazuki would naturally not do these things. Tesai Sukabishi is now only responsible for contacting the relevant manufacturers and placing the wholesale goods in the Urahara store. Although Xiaoyu and Jinda have this ability, but they seem to be too young to be easily regarded as child labor. So, this naturally became Kuchiki's work. Yu Taifeng looked at the steady Shanghei now, and felt happy for him in his heart. He patted him on the shoulder and smiled and asked, Shanghei, it seems that you are completely used to it now. When your goods are almost finished, let's find a place nearby to have a drink. I have a treat. After hearing Yu Taifeng's words, Kuchiki Shanghei looked frightened. Hastily responded. Thanks to the teacher's concern, today's task has been completed. Read more at mtlarchive.com. The rest of the time is subject to the teacher's arrangement. Afterwards, Shanghei followed Yu Taifeng respectfully and walked towards a nearby bar. Ichigo, who had just completed a mission, met a Shinigami who claimed to have taken over Rukia's job. While the two were still arguing, Ichigo only felt an inexplicable Reiatsu attack behind him. After turning around to resist the opponent's attack, he discovered that the person who attacked him was the new student who just arrived today Hiroko Shinji. After talking for a while, Ichigo also learned the true identity of the other party. The masked legion, he thought with some doubts. At this moment, two violent Reiatsu caught Hiroko's attention. Ichigo naturally noticed the existence of Reiatsu. He looked at Hiroko who was talking eloquently in front of him. It seems that Hiroko, like Mr. Urahara, was once a student of the teacher. Ichigo secretly said in his heart. When Yu Taifeng and Kuchiki Shanghei came out of the bar, it was already early in the morning. 
Under Shang He's repeated requests, Yu Taifeng was too embarrassed to refuse the other party's kindness, so he could only let him follow behind him and protect himself from going home. At this time, a scream caught the attention of the two. I saw a teenager with orange hair in the distance, running towards the two of them at a very fast speed. A Reiatsu, full of tyrannical aura, followed the boy, and quickly struck in this direction. Stupid Ichigo. Uncle, why am I so unlucky? Help. The soul possessed by Ichigo screamed, and came to Yu Taifeng and Shanghe in twos or twos. Run, it's dangerous here. After leaving a sentence, the soul continued to flee. I don't know when, a monster man wearing a white robe appeared beside Shanghe already. Master. The demon man bowed and said. Kuchiki Shanghe's face was grim, and the huge figure that was getting closer and closer was pressed tightly. As this Mano's grande, why do you feel a bit huge? The teacher left it to me. Kuchiki Shanghe turned to Yu Taifeng and said. Zero. Look for flowers. A few seconds later, a Mano's grande, who was about 10 meters tall and dressed in a green fur coat, appeared not far away with billowing dust. Huh, what about Kurosaki Ichigo? Did you hide him? But the breath on your body feels very delicious. The Mano's grande said indifferently when he looked at the three figures under his feet. Kuchiki Shanghe's expression instantly became extremely cold after hearing its words. He ignored the Mano's grande in front of him, and bowed to Yu Taifeng and said, Teacher, please wait for a while, I will take action to solve it. Yu Taifeng nodded slightly, and looked at the dummy in front of him with interest. Muramasa, leave it to you. Don't delay the teacher's time, Kuchiki Shanghe said coldly. This Mano's grande couldn't help getting angry after hearing what Shanghe said. As the first Arankar to be transformed by Aizen, he is now full of self-confidence. When he received the order to get rid of Kurosaki Ichigo, he secretly vowed not only to kill Kurosaki Ichigo, but also to upset the entire Karakura town. However, it couldn't figure it out. Not only did Kurosaki Ichigo not become Shinigami as usual, but instead ran away after seeing himself. All signs made it more confident in its own strength. Reward. Share. With its death, a box appeared on the ground not far away out of thin air. Thinking of his identity as Arankar, this Mano's Grande couldn't help but get even more angry. Thank you QQ underscore 305 XXX 419 for your monthly pass. At this time, the prompt sound of the system also appeared in Yu Taifeng's mind. At the next moment, this Mano's Grande actually made a self-snatching action directly. It decisively pulled out its 10-meter-long Zanpakuto, roared and chopped down on the ground. For a time, scarlet blood splashed everywhere. Report. However, the three figures in front of him not only blocked its way, but even dared to speak wildly to solve themselves. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Yu Taifeng looked at Mano's Grande, who was gradually turning into fly ash, smiled and shook his head. At this moment, Murata, wearing a white robe, exuded bursts of dazzling purple light, and casually blocked the opponent's harsh blow with his hands. Thank you for your support. Enter. A huge head fell to the ground like a ball, and its hill-like body also fell to the ground in an instant. After Muramasa gave a cold snort of disdain, he saw a purple light directly enveloping the huge Zanpakuto. Humph. Chapter 106 The New Power of Hollow 4 Subscription required. With the death of this Arankar, the system prompt sound also appeared in Yu Taifeng's mind. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? Yu Taifeng smiled and glanced at Shanghe and Muramasa on the side, and replied in his heart, turn on. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting Reiatsu 20,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the power of Arankar. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining steel skin. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ring. When the system beep ended, a mysterious force that had never been seen appeared in Yu Taifeng's body. The power of Arankar, Yu Taifeng said in his heart with some doubts. However, although his heart was full of doubts, he still walked towards his residence, followed by Kuchiki Shanghe. At this time, two figures not far away attracted the attention of him and Shanghe. I saw a middle-aged man wearing a 60-60 costume, and an orange-haired teenager was looking down and discussing something. Kurosaki Ishin also chose to appear in this place after feeling a mysterious Reiatsu that he had never seen before. When he felt that, Ichigo, was in danger, he did not hesitate to change into Shinigami form, ready to take action to solve the mysterious void. However, just now, with a weird wave of Reiatsu, Ishin unexpectedly discovered that the imaginary chasing, Ichigo, was wiped out. Ishin looked at, Ichigo, with a panic face in front of him, and told him some of his findings. When did you know that I wasn't from Ichigo? The soul in Ichigo asked with a puzzled face. From the beginning, I knew you were not Ichigo. Do you remember when you went to the tomb sweeping? Think about it carefully. Did I call you Ichigo? Kurosaki Ishin said to Ichigo, with a chuckle as if he saw through everything. While the two were still communicating, a strange energy fluctuation came from not far away. Only then did the two realize that they did not know when three figures had already appeared not far from them. Kurosaki Ishin turned his head vigilantly and saw a familiar figure. At this moment, he couldn't help but think of the day he met his deceased wife Kurosaki Shinsaki. The past more than 20 years ago appeared in Ishin's mind like a slideshow. Fight against Shu by being attacked by Aizen. His wife Masaki gave up her life to save her. Young Danfeng lightly repulsed Aizen's person. 
At that time, he was still called Shiva Ishin. You, you are. Kurosaki Ishin looked at the oncoming young man with a shocked face, and a storm surged in his heart. Read more at mtlarchive.com. At this moment, a man wearing a white t-shirt and a blue apron stepped forward with an indifferent face and said coldly, what is your attitude? Muramasa. Kuchiki Shanghe looked at the middle-aged man in the death tyrant costume in front of him, as if thinking of some old things, his eyes were full of killing intent. Coupled with the look he looked at Yu Taifeng, Shanghe was even more angry. Forget it as Shinigami, but even dared to look at his teacher with that weird look, which made Shanghe unable to accept it. Just as he called the village to prepare for an attack, he only felt a warm hand appear on his shoulder. Yu Taifeng looked at Kuchiki Shanghe who was about to happen and smiled helplessly, then patted him on the shoulder and said, Shanghe, it's okay. Kuchiki Shanghe realized that he was a little excited just now, and he hurriedly bowed to Yu Taifeng in salute. Are you, senior? After Kurosaki Ishin recognized Yu Taifeng, he walked quickly in front of him, looking at him excitedly. Long time no see, Yu Taifeng said softly with a smile. Senior, Ishin really didn't expect to meet you in a place like this. If you have nothing to do, can you please go to the humble house and sit down? Kurosaki Ishin bowed sincerely. No, it's not early, I also have to go back to rest. Yu Taifeng said. Although Kurosaki Ishin wanted to continue to say something, when he saw Shanghe and Murata behind Yu Taifeng, he could only watch them leave with a smile on his face. The soul possessed by Ichigo looked at this somewhat inexplicable scene, and his face was full of doubts. However, he could clearly feel that the man in the white t-shirt and the man in the white robe beside him had a dangerous aura. In a short while, the figures of Yu Taifeng and others gradually disappeared into the night. Uncle, who is he? The soul asked curiously when he came to Ishin's side. Kurosaki Ishin sighed deeply, then said, that person is a terrible person. And the two men next to him are actually a Shinigami and his Zanpakuto. Ishin looked at the direction of Yu Taifeng's disappearance, eyes full of jealousy. Dot 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 dot. After bidding farewell to the Kuchiki Shanghe who insisted on following him, Yu Taifeng came to a deep mountain on the outskirts of Karakura city alone. After gaining the power of Arankar from that Arankar, he now also needs to use practice to verify his guess zero. For a long time, although Yu Taifeng has a hollow power in his body, he has never been able to hollow, and can only simply infuse the hollow power on Zanpakuto. But now, after obtaining the power of Arankar, he can try to fuse the power of Arankar and the power of Hollow in his body to achieve the purpose of Hollow. Yu Taifeng sat on the ground and began to mobilize the power of Hollow and Arankar in his body. I saw two strange energies, slowly fusing in his body. After a while, the power of Hollow and Arankar in Yu Taifeng's body completely disappeared. Instead, there is a brand new force. Although this new power is very similar to the original Hollow power, it is completely different from the previous Hollow power, and appears purer and more potential. Yu Taifeng gave a soft drink, and a majestic Reiatsu spewed out from his body, instantly blowing a whistling wind. Hiroko Shinji laughed at himself and said softly, that was the power of the teacher just now. As the vision in the sky gradually disappeared, everyone slowly bowed their heads and looked at each other for a long time. Along with the appearance of the mask, a pair of armor completely wrapped Yu Taifeng's whole person from top to bottom. A pair of black and white bone wings exudes a two-color light, slowly waving behind him. Report. Yu Taifeng nodded with satisfaction, and absorbed the new hollow power into his body, returning it to its original appearance. Boom rumble. Share. Dot 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 dot. An earth-shattering explosion echoed over the entire Karakura city. After Sero exploded, the dark night was now like daylight. I saw two beams of black and white light, 1.6 respectively appearing on his hands. Reward. When Ri Shili and the others heard Hiroko's words, they nodded silently and stood there for a long time without speaking. Yu Taifeng gave a soft drink and threw the condensed Sero into the sky. A black and white mask instantly covered his face, shining with mysterious metallic luster. Chapter 107 Arankar is coming, 5 fifths for subscription. The next day, Yu Taifeng, who had finished his work day, packed his things as usual and walked from the school to the Izakaya. At this time, a familiar voice came from behind him. I saw Hiroko Shinji with billowing dust and smoke, and appeared beside him in a moment. After bowing and saluting, Hiroko looked at Yu Taifeng with a look of admiration and said, Teacher, please guide me through the hollow power control practice. Please. Yu Taifeng looked at the respectful Hiroko in front of him, and instantly understood what he meant. It seems that Hiroko and others already know that he caused the big movement last night. Hiroko, aren't you going to help Ichigo master and control the power of Hollow? Why are you looking for me now? Yu Taifeng said with a smile. Hiroko suddenly turned red and said in a low voice, I came to you secretly behind them. As for guiding Ichigo, those of them are enough. Where did Hiroko still look like normal carelessness now? At this time, his face was full of longing, standing in front of Yu Taifeng respectfully and restrained. However, Yu Taifeng just looked at Hiroko with a smile on his face, and O7 did not immediately respond. In fact, according to Yu Taifeng's temperament, as long as his students make a request, he will train and teach them in his own way. But now he also knows very well that the hollow power in his body is completely different from the hollow power of Hiroko and others. Even if he wanted to guide Hiroko and others hand in hand, there was no way to start. Therefore, after quick thinking, he already had his own answer in his heart. 
Yu Taifeng looked at Hiroko, who was excited and nervous, and smiled helplessly. His reaction was naturally seen by Hiroko. Although Hiroko has guessed what Yu Taifeng means, he is still unwilling to give up this opportunity to become stronger. I saw Hiroko bend his whole body heavily to 90 degrees. After giving a big gift to Yu Taifeng, he said respectfully, Thank you. Teacher. Please. Yu Taifeng looked at Hiroko who was about to bend himself into dried shrimps and sighed softly. Then he said, Hiroko, since you first had this power, although you have experienced a lot of misfortune, you have also gained the corresponding power. Presumably the eight of you know very well in your own minds that your strength has improved a lot compared to the past. I know that you all hate Aizen very much. After all, without those things at the beginning, you may still be living a carefree life in soul society. But I still hope you understand that sometimes power alone is not enough. Hiroko seemed to understand what the teacher said, but was speechless for a while, not knowing what to say. Yu Taifeng patted Hiroko's shoulder gently, and said with a smile, while you are helping Ichigo, you are actually helping yourself in disguise. Okay, I'm leaving first, and remember to guide Ichigo well. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Hiroko looked at the back who turned and left, and couldn't help but start thinking about the profound words just now. When he reacted from a state of trance, he discovered that Yu Taifeng had already disappeared on this street. A fiery ball of fire descended from the sky with terrifying power and directly hit a park in Karakura town. Car. Accompanied by a violent explosion, a big pit of five or six meters deep appeared where the fireball had just landed. After seeing this strange sight, the people walking around here soon surrounded the big pit and looked at the bottom of the pit curiously. At this time, although two figures in white robes were standing in the pit, the onlookers couldn't see them at all. Yemi. Let's go. Master Aizen gave us the task. Wukiora glanced at Yemi beside him and urged. The concentration of the soul in this world is really thin. But what does this bunch of ants mean to look around us? The sturdy Yami uttered a word, then looked up at the onlookers above the big pit, frowning and said. After taking a casual glance at the onlookers, Wukiora said. They can't see us anyway, let's go, we still have a task to complete. Who would have thought that Yami jumped directly to the ground with both feet, opened his mouth wide and began to absorb the souls of nearby humans. After a while, Yami let out a disgusting look and said, a soul without much spiritual power is really unpalatable. Just as the two were about to leave here, a young girl in the distance got up from the ground with difficulty, looking at the oncoming, two people, with a look of fear. Since I have completely mastered hollow yesterday, Yu Taifeng in a good mood naturally drank a few more glasses today. After eating and drinking, he patted his stomach contentedly, and walked out of the izakaya with a smile on his face. At this time, several powerful reyatsu came from a distance, attracting his attention. Because, one of them happened to be Kurosaki Ichigo's reyatsu. The other two reyatsu, not only stronger than Ichigo, but also exudes a strange aura. The breath of Arankar. Yu Taifeng quickly recalled the plot of Shinigami's original novel in his mind, and then he knew who the other two Reyatsu were. It is Ukiora with the fourth blade and Yami with the tenth blade in Arankar Espada. A faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and his figure disappeared instantly. In the park, the battle between Kurosaki Ichigo and Yami continues. When he thought of his injured companion behind him, he couldn't help but become angry. Bankai. Ichigo yelled, and the whole person was shrouded in a red and black light, and Reyatsu on his body quickly climbed 760. After a while, Yami was faintly invincible. Just as Ichigo was about to launch a new round of attacks, the strange voice in his body appeared again. Leave it to me ha ha ha. At this time, Ichigo also instantly thought of the situation when he had hollow. Report. After looking at the enemy fast approaching him, Ichigo wanted to make an evasive action. Wukiora looked at what was happening in front of him with a cold face, and his face was full of disdain. Just when he thought that all of this was about to end, a breath of Reyatsu that was enough to make people breathe suddenly appeared. Because that orange-haired boy turned out to be their goal for this mission. Share. The feeling of being completely out of his control made him feel disgusted from the bottom of his heart. With a deafening explosion, Yami turned into a huge black shadow and flew out. Boom rumble. Dot 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 dot. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. However, he was a little desperate to find that his body was out of control. Wukiora never thought that the other party would be so weak. Yami looked angrily at Ichigo, who had just injured himself, and let out an angry roar. He brandished the long sword in his hand, ready to end this humiliating battle. After a loud noise, Ichigo was taken away directly. Chapter 108 Yami. Angry Beast. 1. Subscription Required. Wukiora looked at Yami who was knocked into the air, and the indifferent expression on his face quietly changed. He frowned slightly and looked at the young man who appeared suddenly with some curiosity. Teacher, be careful, Kurosaki Ichigo said with some worry looking at Yu Taifeng's back. Yu Taifeng turned around and glanced at Ichigo who was a little embarrassed, then smiled and nodded at him. Teacher, Wukiora said to himself, Ah, I want to kill you. I want to crush your bones. After Yami let out a roar, he crawled out of the jungle in the distance. At this time, his originally fragmented body began to grow rapidly. Yami, the task is important. Wukiora whispered. However, at this time, Yami, who was completely swallowed by anger, could not listen to Wukiora's dissuasion. I saw that after he recovered completely, he screamed and rushed in the direction of Yu Taifeng. 
It's interesting, it looks more resistant than expected. Yu Taifeng said with a chuckle while observing the changes in Yami Reiatsu's value with, explore circuit. At this moment, Yami was like a fast-moving hill, rolling towards Yu Taifeng with a wave of violent Reiatsu. Under the influence of the, probing loop, Yu Taifeng found that Yami's Reiatsu value has increased from more than 30,000 at the beginning to more than 40,000 now. Sure enough, the more angry the stronger the strength, Yu Taifeng secretly said in his heart. At this time, Yami was already carrying a mighty force, and in a blink of an eye he hit Yu Taifeng's eyes. Yu Taifeng looked at the big sword waving in Yami's hand, snorted coldly and pulled out his Zanpakuto and waved it forward twice. Taste. With a crisp sound, the big sword in Yami's hand was cut in two by Yu Taifeng. And Yami, who was as strong as a behemoth, was directly cut off. Ah, you are done, I want you to die. A large swath of blood spewed from the flat wound on Yami's body, and in a blink of an eye all the nearby land was stained crimson. Yu Taifeng watched with interest what happened in front of him. He is now very much looking forward to how Yami will perform after returning to the sword. Yami. Danger. Wukiora gave a soft sigh and stood in front of Yami. However, Yami responded with an angry punch. At this moment, only a burst of red light enveloped Yami. He was chopped into two pieces, and at this time he slowly returned to his original shape. Be furious, angry beast. Yami roared and brandished his broken sword, his anger seemed to ignite the ground around him. Yami. Wukiora looked at Yami, who had already returned, and a look of worry finally appeared on his calm face. Dot 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 opening parenthesis. Read more at mtlarchive.com. I saw a brighter red light completely enveloping Yami, and his Reiatsu began to climb. At the same time, Yami was originally only a tall body, but also began to undergo tremendous changes. Under the observation of, Explore Loop, Yu Taifeng has also been paying attention to the changes of Reiatsu. Yami and Reiatsu in front of the sword have reached a maximum of about 40,000. However, with the completion of his homecoming, his Reiatsu has also been rising wildly, and it is only one step away from 90,000 to break through the 80,000 mark. The red light that was originally wrapped in Yami's body gradually dissipated, and his final form after returning to the blade was also shown in front of Yu Taifeng. Yami at this time was like a high-rise building, and the original appearance that was close to humans has long since disappeared. He is like a polypetal worm with a human face and an animal body, with twelve pillar-like legs. On the huge head, four lead gray sharp horns grew from the position of the eyebrows, extending back to the position of the neck. A burst of heat, like a miasma, slowly volatilized upward from his body. On the position of his left arm, a huge black number tattoo appeared unexpectedly, which was the word, zero. Wukiora looked at Yami who had completely finished his job, looked at Yu Taifeng with disdain, and snorted coldly. Ha 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 ha, the long lost power, the long lost power is finally back, Yami said after bursts of earth shattering laughter. Yu Taifeng looked at the giant Yami in front of him, smiled and shook his head, and said nothing. When Wukiora and Yami saw his reaction, they couldn't help but startled slightly. Yami, who was still angry just now, was unexpectedly lifeless, and he laughed wildly again without anger and joy. Pointing at the ants on the ground, Yu Taifeng looked like Yu Taifeng, and said with a smug look, Originally, I didn't intend to tell this story, but because you are about to die, I will tell you a secret. Ha 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 ha. Yu Taifeng looked at the changes in Yami's numbers and naturally guessed what Yami wanted to say. But he didn't respond, just watched quietly. Yami, Aizen sama knows that we will punish us. Wukiora not far away frowned and reminded him. Yami looked back at Wukiora, the smug look on his face didn't decrease, but he raised his eyebrows gently at the opponent. Wukiora shook his head helplessly, but in the end he didn't say much. At this time, Yami turned his head and looked at Yu Taifeng again, and said to him excitedly. We are Erenkar modified by Aizen-sama with Hogyoku. After Aizen entered, Hueko Mundo, he planned ten positions for the strongest Erenkar, which is ten swords. The higher the number in Espada, the stronger the strength. For example, Wukiora is number four, and I am number ten. However, Espada does not have a number one, and only has nine positions. So why are we called Espada? That's because I am both the tenth and the zero. I think you are not so stupid that you can't understand what I'm saying, right? Ha 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 ha. Finally, remember that it was Yami in Espada that killed you. When Yu Taifeng heard what Yami said, he couldn't help but be a little surprised. Because as early as more than 500 years ago. The first thing I want to tell you, uncle, is that we are not ordinary Manos Grande. He killed Baragan in, Hueco Mundo. Even when he first entered hell, he met Baragan. If Yu Taifeng did not appear, Baragan might still be the second number in Espada, just like in Shinigami's original work. Looking at Wang Zhao's now, I did have a certain impact on the development of the plot. Thinking of this, Yu Taifeng couldn't help but frown slightly, but he quickly recovered. After all, such subtle changes are still within an acceptable range. It's just that Aizen made a small adjustment to the Espada concept. As for the Espada number one, whether the current Espada number two is stark, it has nothing to do with Yu Taifeng. After all, in his opinion, whether it is Espada or Aizen, they are just moving box essences. It seems a bit surprised by your appearance, but it is not important anymore. Because, you can go to death. Ah ha 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 ha. Yami looked at Yu Taifeng at his feet triumphantly, and let out bursts of triumphant laughter. When his laughter ended, a red light had already brewed in his mouth. 
Suddenly, with a destructive force, it quickly struck towards Yu Taifeng on the ground. Chapter 109 Broke Your Wrist to Survive. 2. Seek Subscription. Teacher. Be careful. The injured Kurosaki Ichigo loudly reminded after seeing Sero from Yami. Yu Taifeng looked at the oncoming Sero with an indifferent face, and he let out waves of killing intent with a cold snort. Originally, with his skill, he could avoid this Sero casually. Who would have thought that Yami, who looks five big and three thick on the surface, is actually thick and thin? At the last moment when he chose to attack Yu Taifeng, he shifted the ultimate goal to Kurosaki Ichigo. I saw Yu Taifeng Shunpo approaching Ichigo and whispered, Swallow it. Gourmet. Reflect. Gourmet. As soon as the voice fell, a huge mirror appeared in front of the two of them. Yami glanced back at Wukiora triumphantly, ready to listen to the beautiful voice that made him refreshed after Sero exploded. However, when he turned his attention to Yu Taifeng and Kurosaki Ichigo, he was a little surprised to find that the Sero he had just launched was missing. What? How is this possible? How can my Sero? Yami has always claimed to be the strongest Erenkar, but he has never encountered such an unreasonable situation. Not far away, Wukiora looked at the huge mirror that appeared out of thin air warily. As if he had guessed something, he reminded Yami loudly, Yami. Be careful, that mirror is 760 weird. It's so risky. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at the scene in front of him, could not help feeling a cold sweat on his head, and muttered to himself in fear. P. Dot 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 dot. Just as Kurosaki Ichigo felt fortunate for a while, only a huge black shadow like a high mountain appeared in front of Yu Taifeng and him instantly. After seeing that he had missed a hit, Yami directly moved the huge body to Yu Taifeng's body by using the sound transfer. He wants to see now, just how capable this little boy in front of him is. Yu Taifeng looked at Yami indifferently, and jumped directly into the air with his feet. The huge mirror also emitted a burst of hot energy in an instant. In a blink of an eye, a huge red ball of light flew out of the mirror and directly hit Yami's huge body. Boom rumble. Yami was directly knocked out by his own Sero, and finally stabilized his figure in midair. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Just when he was about to let out a roar and attack again, he only saw a huge black sword shadow descending from the sky and attacking towards his face door. Wukiora just wanted to give a warning, but only saw that Yami's huge body had been split in two from the middle, before it fell to the ground, it turned into strands of flying ash and disappeared. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at the incredible scene in front of him and couldn't help but opened his mouth wide in shock, not knowing what to say. Standing in the air, Yu Taifeng glanced at the box that had fallen on the ground, nodded in satisfaction, and then focused his attention on Wukiora. An inexplicable sense of fear and crisis surrounded Wukiora, and he would never have thought that Yami would be killed by the opponent. However, he calmed himself down in an instant. When he saw Yu Taifeng's figure disappearing in midair, he decisively shouted, Seal, lock. Black wing great demon. Wukiora, after the return of the sword, had a pair of huge black wings growing directly behind it. Half of the mask was originally covered on his forehead, but some changes have taken place at this time, covering both his left and right foreheads. P. Wukiora hurriedly used the ringing turn, his figure swayed and came into the sky. At this moment, Yu Taifeng's figure also instantly appeared at the location where Wukiora was just now. Yu Taifeng looked up at the figure waving its wings in the sky, a look of surprise flashed in his eyes. He didn't expect that the other party would enter the state of returning to the edge so decisively. At this time, Wukiora's hands had already condensed a dark green javelin wrapped in electric current. He looked at the enemy on the ground unhappy or unhappy, leaned back slightly and threw the lightning javelin in his hand. I saw this dark green javelin with a whistling sound, quickly attacking the ground, and immediately hit AHBG, Yu Taifeng's figure. Wukiora looked at the dusty ground, and bursts of dark green light radiated from his hands again. This time, he held a dark green lightning javelin in his hands tightly. He looked at Kurosaki Ichigo, who was a little embarrassed on the ground, and prepared to launch a new attack. Although Yami is dead, but the task assigned to them by Aizen still has to find a way to complete. Just as Ukiora was about to throw the javelin, a black figure appeared in front of him out of thin air. E. After the black Zanpakuto collided with two javelins wrapped in lightning, bursts of sparks sputtered. A powerful shock wave began to spread from the air, and in a short while, a roaring wind blew up and rushed in all directions. After a while, even the white clouds in the sky dissipated, and the sky began to become densely clouded. Just as Yu Taifeng was preparing to kill Wukiora with a sword, only the opponent's body exploded directly. After feeling Wukiora's complete disappearance of Reiatsu, Yu Taifeng felt a little regretful in his heart, but he didn't take it too seriously. As for now, Quan should be charging some interest. After all, when Aizen completely integrates the two Hogyoku and researches them successfully, it will be when he really starts to act. Hueko Mundo, Shuyi Palace. This made Wukiora realize that the rivalry between us and the enemy is not the disparity of power at all, but the essential difference in the level of life. Wukiora immediately decided that he must use the method he had learned when he was on his own errand car, and try his best to escape the disaster. Immediately after the explosion, countless spirits suddenly got into a black crack that appeared out of thin air, and disappeared in an instant. Wukiora looked at Yu Taifeng, who was calm and calm in front of him, and felt a sense of powerlessness for a while. Space secret technique, interesting, Yu Taifeng said with a smile. Because from his birth to the present, even Aizen has not made him feel this kind of fear. A figure emitting a dark green light slowly walked into the Shuyi Palace. 
At this time, in an empty hall covered with purple rocks, Aizen was sitting on a tall throne. Dozens of Arankars scattered around the hall all focused their eyes on the dark green figure with a faint aura. But in the face of the current crisis, he has no other choice. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Although this method can only be used once, and it will be severely injured, it is even possible that one's strength will never be restored. He felt that when facing Yu Taifeng, he and the other party weren't creatures of the same dimension at all, just like ants never know how powerful a dragon is. Chapter 110 Secrets of Espada 3. Seeking Subscription. After a great war, the park where Yu Taifeng and others are located has long been devastated. Feeling the disappearance of Wukiora Reiatsu, Yu Taifeng also understood that the other party must have left the world by some special method. He slowly landed on the ground from midair and looked up into the distance. At this time, a few familiar Reiatsu are heading towards, here quickly. After a while, Yurahara Kazuki and others appeared in the park, looking shocked at the park after the war. Yu Taifeng glanced around and said, Yurahara, take them back to heal their injuries first. Although Yurahara and others had some doubts in their hearts, they still followed what Yu Taifeng said. After giving the system an instruction to open the box, a burst of mechanical electronic sounds also appeared in Yu Taifeng's mind. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting Reiatsu 50,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the soul suck. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the virtual bullet. After a massive amount of Reiatsu entered Yu Taifeng's body, he turned into an afterimage and disappeared in place. Hueko Mundo, Shuyi Palace. The hall, which was originally dim, gradually brightened with the arrival of Wukiora. After a while, the light projected from the sky covered the entire hall with a layer of silvery white. I don't know what material the black floor is, but now it also emits a faint white light. Aizen sat on the throne, looking calmly at Wukiora standing in the middle of the hall. Has it failed? Aizen asked with a slight smile. After Wukiora bowed and saluted, he replied respectfully, Master Aizen, Yami is killed in battle, and I am also badly injured now. Grimjow with blue hair put his hands in his pockets and spit, then let out a cold snort with disdain. At this moment, the expressions on the faces of the Arankars who were separated from each other in the hall were also different. But they all turned their attention to Aizen in the end. Because they want to know what punishment Ulkiora will be punished if the mission fails. Aizen slowly got up from the throne and looked up at the canopy he made. There was always a smile on his face, making it impossible to guess what he was thinking. Standing respectfully under the throne, Tusan Konami tilted his head in the direction of Ulkiora, frowning slightly but nothing. After a while of silence, Aizen finally asked, what is the general situation? Wukiora took out his left eye indifferently with his hand, bowed and saluted and mobilized the surrounding spirits to raise the eyeball not far from Aizen. After that eyeball stopped slowly, it began to emit a faint blue light, and after a few seconds, it shattered into countless tiny blue spirits and floated in front of Aizen. Aizen closed his eyes gently, as if feeling something. After a while, a lucid smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he slowly opened his eyes and said, Wukiora, do you know who you met? Tusan Konami frowned slightly after hearing Aizen's words, and then returned to an indifferent look. The Arankars, who were standing around in the hall, all started talking in twos and threes at this time. After a long time, Wukiora bowed and replied, The subordinates don't know, please also ask Master Aizen to make it clear. Aizen smiled and shook his head, as if to conjure up a gem with a deep blue light. Then he said softly, That person is our worst enemy. I didn't expect you to meet him. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Yami's death and your serious injury are also reasonable things. All the Arankars were full of curiosity after hearing what Aizen said. They couldn't understand that Aizen, who was as powerful as a mystery, would say such things. At this moment, they were not only curious about what Aizen would do with Ulkiora, they were even more curious about the strangeness of the person in Aizen's mouth. I think your current strength should have fallen to Jillian's level. Aizen looked at Ulkiora calmly, and spoke unhurriedly. Ulkiora nodded silently, ready to be dealt with by Aizen. Just when many Arankars thought Aizen would take some thunderous method, they saw him slowly walk down the steps next to the throne and came to Ulkiora. Stark and you are not the same as them. You who are able to self-Arankar now have a chance. I hope you can take it well. Aizen spoke softly, and put Hogyoku in his hand into the virtual hole at the junction of Wukiora's collarbone. Ah, uh, Wukiora snorted in pain and fell directly to his knees. I saw bursts of dazzling dark green light appeared on his body, and huge changes began to take place in his body. After feeling the changes not far away, Tusan Konami hurriedly stepped forward and bowed to Aizen and said, Master Aizen. Aizen turned his head and glanced at Tusan Konami, and said, Don't worry, this is a punishment for him, and it also gives him a chance to be reborn. At this moment, Wukiora was rolling on the ground in pain, and the dark green light on his body gradually dimmed. Accompanied by the sound of broken bones, he turned into a dark green spirit in an instant, slowly disappearing to the ground. The dark blue Hogyoku seemed to have spirituality. After Wukiora disappeared, it slowly drifted into Aizen's hands. Aizen looked at Wukiora disappearing in place, frowned slightly, and said to himself, Did you fail? In fact, it's no wonder Aizen thinks this way, because he did it because it was related to one of his plans. If this attempt is successful, he has a foreboding that his research on Hogyoku will reach a new level. The Arankars, who were standing around the hall, couldn't help but become tense after seeing this weird scene. 
To them, the dark blue gem seemed to have magical powers. Without that deep blue gem, there would be no where they are today. Zero. Look for flowers. But they never thought that Wukiora would disappear directly because they couldn't bear the force. Just when many Arankars thought Wukiora was dead, an inexplicable fluctuation quietly appeared in the hall. Aizen, who was originally a little disappointed, showed a satisfied smile on his face after feeling the wave of nothingness. Boom. A dark green lightning shot straight down from the sky cover, and immediately hit the ground of the hall. For a while, thick gray smoke began to drift around. When the smoke dissipated, Wukiora waved his huge wings behind him and slowly appeared in the hall. Thank you Aizen-sama, Wukiora said respectfully on one knee after returning to his original state. Aizen looked at the figure that appeared again before nodding in satisfaction. At this time, there was a rustling sound from far to near. After a while, a puppy covered in white soft hair walked into the hall unhurriedly. Something different from ordinary puppy is that this puppy has no eyes, instead of its eyes are two black hollows. An errand car standing at the entrance of the hall, looking at the sudden appearance of the puppy, couldn't help but feel cold, and yelled, Kukabro. Your master Yami is dead. You go and die. A red ball of light instantly appeared in this Arankar's mouth, and it seemed that he wanted to kill the hollow puppy. Many Arankars in the hall looked at the scene in front of them with indifferent expressions. After all, in their opinion, this kind of barely imaginary creature is simply not a species with them. Wukiora turned his head and looked at the puppy, a look of intolerance flashed in his eyes, but he quickly returned to his original indifference. However, at this time, a violent Reiatsu suddenly appeared at the entrance of the hall. Crack, click. Accompanied by a oozing chewing sound, a little boy opened his mouth wide and swallowed the Arankar who had just berated the puppy. Many Arankars looked at this scene with surprise, their faces were full of fear. When the little boy made a swallowing motion with a contented expression on his face, he instantly appeared beside Aizen with an afterimage. After Aizen glanced around the people calmly, a satisfied smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Then he slowly said, Kukabro, you are here. After the little boy laughed innocently, he acted like a baby and said to Aizen, Master Aizen, the big bug named Yami is dead. I want a new pet now. After the Arankars who were standing around the hall heard the conversation between the two, they discovered that the puppy at the entrance of the hall had long since disappeared. At this moment, the little boy turned around and looked around the many Arankars in the hall, and then let out a burst of innocent laughter again. I saw that his eyes had only whites and no pupils, and the place where the pupils were replaced was surprisingly black digital tattoos. One, and, zero, are entered. Chapter 111 Breakthrough Obstacles. Bankai. Four. Subscription required. With the death of Yami and the escape of Wukiora, this completely suspenseful battle also came to an end. After Yu Taifung absorbed Yami's massive amount of Reiatsu, his figure disappeared in a flash. On the way to the Urahara store, Yu Taifung had a wonderful feeling. He only felt that the, gourmet, placed in the system backpack had a feeling of eagerness. The last time he felt this way, it was when he mastered, Shikai. After a quick scan of the system interface, Yu Taifung discovered that his Reiatsu value had exceeded 500,000 without even knowing it. At this moment, he is very sure that he is likely to break through that obstacle and enter a wider world. After a while, Yu Taifung came to the Urahara store. After inquiring about the injuries of Ichigo and others, he went to the training ground on the ground floor of the Urahara store alone. After all, the area of this underground space is large enough, and there is a defensive barrier imposed by Tessai Sukabishi. However, to be on the safe side, Yu Taifung still releases several layers of inverted mountain crystals and six-sided splitting void to prevent the impact caused by the aftermath of the comprehension. He remembers very clearly how much he made when he was, Shikai. After some preparations, Yu Taifung sat on the floor and put the, gourmet meal, on his lap. After closing his eyes lightly, his mind also entered the inner space of Zanpakuto. Roar. In the endless Zanpakuto space, I saw gluttonous black light exuding all over his body, and a deafening roar came out from his mouth. My lord. When Yu Yang looked at Yu Taifung entering the Zanpakuto space, she moved to his side and uttered something. Yu Taifung smiled and glanced at gluttony, nodded gently, and then stood still and began to brew. At this time, the sky above the Zanpakuto space was gradually covered with dark clouds, and within a short while, gusts of wind began to flash and thunder. A swarm of majestic Reiatsu floated out from all directions, gathering like a stream into the sea toward the clouds in the sky. When all the Reiatsu stored in the Zanpakuto space entered the clouds, a huge black vortex began to slowly take shape. As the whirlpool spins faster and faster, the sky and the earth begin to tremble. Boom. Boom rumble. A burst of earth-shaking noises echoed in the entire space along with the rotation of the vortex. At this time, the power of Shinigami, the power of Hollow, the power of Quincy, and the power of Hell in Yu Taifung's body turned into four different colors of light and flew toward the vortex in the sky. And the glutton beside him also let out a roar that resounded through the world, and flew towards the whirlpool in the sky. Roar. I saw Teodi's mouth resembling a bottomless black hole, and began to frantically swallow and absorb the vortex in the sky. Read more at mtlarchive.com. I don't know how long it took, and the sky returned to its original color. The glutton who stood in the sky burped contentedly, let out a burst of cheerful roars, and then rushed down from the sky to the side of Yu Taifung. Yu Taifung slowly opened his eyes, looking calmly at the food beside him. Then he looked down at the ground under his feet, then looked up at the sky above his head. At this time, his eyes seemed to be rebirthed from the collapse of the universe. 
After Yu Taifeng gave a soft drink, the black earth under his feet and the white sky above his head began to tremble again. Boom. Boom. With bursts of deafening noises, the originally monotonous interior space also began to undergo tremendous changes. The black land actually began to grow all kinds of flowers and trees, and the white sky slowly turned into a refreshing blue. As the surrounding environment has undergone tremendous changes, the breath of Yu Taifeng's body has disappeared. He stood quietly in place, at first glance like an ordinary person without any spiritual power. But if you look closely, you will find that Yu Taifeng is like an invisible black hole, as if everything in this world can be absorbed and accommodated by him. Go ahead. Yu Taifeng smiled and nodded to Teodi, and then ran away as if looking at it. He smiled and looked at the same changing glutton, and left the inner space of Zonpakudao with a move of his mind. Now that the preparatory work has been completed, Yu Taifeng will now try his own, Bankai, effect. Before that, he first opened his system panel and checked it. Then he drew out his own Zanpakudo, and poured Reiatsu and the four powers in the body into Zanpakudo. A feeling of communion appeared in Yu Taifeng's heart, and a scene of Zanpakudo's internal space naturally emerged in his mind. While Yu Yang was still playing alone in the inner space, he looked up to the sky as if he had heard the call. My lord, please call my name. The sound of gluttonous food was like a thunderstorm on a sunny day, which made the originally windy and sunny inner space tremble again. Yu Taifeng looked at the black Zanpakudo in his hand and shouted, Eat everything. Chaos gluttony. Bankai. Boom. Boom rumble. At this moment, when Yu Taifeng used, Bankai, both he and Zanpakudo in his hand seemed to have become a cloud of chaos. Accompanied by a horrible attraction, cracks appeared in the space around Yu Taifeng, and within a short time they began to collapse. Two black holes, one large and one small, carried a violent suction force, devouring everything around them frantically. At this moment, the underground training ground below the Urahara store collapsed and turned into a distorted flow of spiritual power and began to merge into Yu Taifeng and Teodi's body. After Urahara Kazuki and others helped Ichigo and Sato deal with the injury, they were all curious about what Yu Taifeng would do in the underground training ground. As everyone gathered together to chat, only felt that an astonishing power came from the underground space. The ground near the Urahara store began to tremble violently, as if experiencing an earthquake. The various spirits within a radius of 1.6 and 10 miles were directly attracted by an unimaginable force of terror and began to converge towards the bottom of the Urahara store. No, it's the teacher. Urahara Kazuki sat up directly, wanting to go to the training ground below to find out. However, when he just stood up, he found that his limbs were weak and limp on the ground. 73 of Bakudo, Fallen Mountain Crystal. Almost at the same time, after looking at each other, Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Sukabishi whispered in unison. I saw a blue inverted triangle-shaped enchantment, which protected everyone and resisted the horrible suction. Our Reiatsu and the surrounding spirits have been sucked away, Shihu and Yorichi said nervously. Percent 3D. Ichigo and others also looked at each other desperately, trying to mobilize the thin spirits around to resist this unwarranted disaster. Chapter 112, Meeting, Aizen, 5 fifths subscription required. The chaos under the Urahara store continued, and Yu Taifeng naturally noticed the huge impact of his, Bankai. Now he knew very well that if he allowed himself to continue to toss like this, he might face a huge disaster near the Urahara store. Yu Taifeng raised his hand and summoned a piercing gate leading to, Hueko Mundo, and his whole body flashed into the piercing gate with a fearful suction. After entering the space passage through the boundary gate, Yu Taifeng and Zanpakudo in his hand are like a bottomless black hole, still devouring everything around them frantically. A mysterious force that had never been seen before was also sucked into Yu Taifeng's body along with the soul in the space channel. When he left the summoned barrier gate, he couldn't help but look back and saw that the space near the barrier gate began to split and collapse. I don't know if it's because the concentration of souls in, Hueko Mundo, is much higher than that in the present world. After Yu Taifeng arrived at, Hueko Mundo, the attraction between him and, Gourmet Meal, continued to increase, and suddenly became even more violent. He looked up at the sky here and found that it was very different from the sky when he was in, Hueko Mundo. Now the sky of, Hueko Mundo, is actually blue with white clouds floating. After thinking about it for a while, Yu Taifeng also instantly understood that this is a masterpiece by Aizen 07 sky cover. The howling wind brought the white sand around Yu Taifeng's side, and the masses of spirits continued to flow into his body like a stream flowing into the sea. Feeling that he and the, gluttonous, have not yet entered a saturated state, Yu Taifeng is like a high-speed moving black hole, flying towards the sky cover above his head. After a period of flying, he finally reached the vicinity of the sky cover. At this time, Yu Taifeng didn't take any care of it anymore, and completely released himself, absorbing everything around him presumptuously. Boom. After a burst of lightning and thunder, the various enchantments originally arranged on the sky cover have also been transformed into spiritual children with different attributes, and they have all been absorbed by him. After a while, the originally bright sky started to darken. Yu Taifeng even absorbed all the canopy arranged by Aizen. In the Zai Palace at this time, Aizen was looking at Kuchibro with a smile on his face, and gently touched his head. The Arankars, who were standing in various places in the hall, couldn't help swallowing silently after seeing this scene. Even Ulkiora, who is the fourth blade of Espada, never thought that Espada really meant this. The two-digit Kukabro is the, one, and the, ten. The most unexpected thing is that the puppy-like Kuchibro is nominally Yami's subordinate officer. Before that, 
Everyone thought it was nothing more than a puppy adopted by Yami. However, when Yami died, Kuchibro actually called Yami a bug and a pet. The contrast of this change of identity makes anyone in the hall somewhat unacceptable. Because this is simply too unreasonable, Ukiora, who was reborn, has no intention of thinking about these useless things like other Arankars. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Because after he was freshman this time, his understanding of homecoming turned out to be a bit more profound. He had a faint feeling that he might be able to try a second return. While Ukiora was still thinking in his heart, he only felt that the sky cover on the Zai Palace had slowly disappeared. The sight of the clear sky no longer exists, and replaced by the, Hueco Mundo, sky as it should have been. Standing quietly under the throne, Tusan Konami, with his keen sense of spirit, also felt the abnormal change of the canopy above his head. He hurriedly used Shunko to come to behind Aizen, bowed and asked, Master Aizen. The sky cover has disappeared. Do you need me to check it out? Aizen, who was still teasing Kukabro, naturally felt the movement above his head. The smile on his face gradually disappeared, and he looked up at the sky with a gloomy look. At this time, a violent attraction suddenly fell from the sky, directly covering the entire Zai Palace. Just as Tusan Konami was about to take action, he was surprised to find that Reiatsu and Reiko in his body were slowly diminishing because of the violent suction. He hurriedly released Reiatsu from his body and mobilized the surrounding spirits to try to form a protective film to prevent himself from being affected by that attraction again. However, when Tusan Konami released Reiatsu, he noticed that Reiatsu and Reiatsu disappeared faster in his body. Except Aizen, the other Arankars have more or less similar ideas to Tusan Konami. When they found that their resistance didn't help, this was just enough to react. Aizen looked around the people with a cold face, and said softly, it's just a little bit of Reiatsu and Reiko, I just want to absorb it afterwards. You are all on standby, I will meet that old friend for a while. When everyone was about to stop, they found that Aizen's figure had already turned into an afterimage and disappeared. After Yu Taifung absorbed the sky cover, he quickly flew towards the Zai Palace. Wherever he went, all hollow creatures with some spiritual power were limp on the ground. What's more, because of this violent suction, it directly exploded into countless tiny souls, which were all absorbed by Yu Taifung. At this time, a black figure quickly struck in the direction of Yu Taifung with an unimaginable terrifying speed. Boom. After a fierce collision, Yu Taifung stood calmly on the spot, but Aizen vomited blood and flew out. After feeling that both himself and the gluttonous food had been absorbed into a saturated state, Yu Taifung smiled and shook his head, looking at the figure that struck again in the distance. Student Aizen, long time no see. Yu Taifung said to Aizen with a smile. Aizen looked at the familiar figure in front of him, with a hint of unpleasant expression on his face. He looked at Yu Taifung with a cold look, and said, it turned out to be the teacher. I don't know what is the reason for your, Hueco Mundo, when you came to me today. Yu Taifung didn't respond after hearing Aizen's words, but looked at him quietly with a smile. A strange light flashed in Aizen's eyes. Without hesitation, he pulled out his Zanpakuto, turned the tip of the sword down with his 760 hand, and said softly, split. Kyoko Suigetsu. I saw that a piece of calm blue lake surface appeared on the sky where the two were standing. Report. At this moment, accompanied by the sound of glass shattering, the blue lake surface under the feet of the two of them was broken directly. When the, Kyoko Suigetsu, in Aizen's hands sank into the lake, ripples appeared on the surface of the lake that had been calm. Dot 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 dot. But your Kyoko Suigetsu seems to be useless to me. Be the captive of my Kyoko Suigetsu. Yu Taifung. Reward. Yu Taifung turned and looked at Shunko's Aizen behind him, raised his hand to resist the attack from the opponent, and then said with a smile, it seems that you are very confident. Then he said, more than a hundred years ago, you once grabbed Kyoko Suigetsu's blade and prevented me from releasing complete hypnosis. Share. Aizen looked at Yu Taifung with a shocked look in front of him, and directly used the reaction force after the collision of Zanpakuto to make his body retreat. Do you think so? Unexpectedly, now that you are stronger, you can make such low-level mistakes. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Aizen stared at the unreasonable scene in front of him dumbfounded, and stood there for a long time without speaking. Now, even if you know that you are in a fantasy world, it doesn't help. In an instant, the entire lake surface turned into a stream of blue spirits and slowly merged into the Zanpakuto in Yu Taifung's hands. When he saw that Yu Taifung didn't make any movement, he finally showed a smile on his face. Chapter 113 Aizen and Grimjiao's Plan 1. For subscription. Aizen looked at the incredible scene that happened before him, and was a little speechless for a while. At this moment, Yu Taifung looked like a mystery in his eyes, and he couldn't figure it out. Kyoka Suigetsu would break directly. Why is that? Aizen gave Yu Taifung a vigilant look, and secretly said in his heart. In fact, Yu Taifung knew what the biggest role of, gluttonous, is at the moment when he mastered, Bankai. Different from, Shikai, absorbing the surrounding Reiatsu and Reiko, and then using the new soul sword to release the absorbed Reiatsu and Reiko. After, Bankai, the real effect of, glutton, is actually to swallow. Swallow others the ability released by Zanpakuto, swallows attacks from others, and can even swallow the enemy directly. However, the current, gluttonous, seems to be incomplete in, Bankai, it can only swallow the attack released by the opponent's sword. 
Yu Taifeng has a feeling that if his Rayatsu improves again and reaches another new height, he might even be able to swallow up space at that time. Therefore, he is even more looking forward to the fact that Aizen can study the day of Hogyoku as soon as possible. But now, naturally, I have to leave Aizen a life. Otherwise, who will study Hogyoku for himself? Thinking of this, Yu Taifeng directly summoned a piercing gate that is also present. When Aizen watched the figure disappearing in the gate, the expression on his face was ugly. After gritting his teeth bitterly and snorting coldly, his figure disappeared in a flash. When Yu Taifeng returned to the Urahara store, he found that it was like a disaster. The situation in the Urahara store can be better, after all, there is a protective barrier set up by Urahara Kazuki and Tesai Sukabishi. But the surrounding situation is a bit bad. Not only the big tree is uprooted, but the surrounding houses and telephone poles have collapsed to varying degrees. After Yu Taifeng looked at the scene as if he had suffered an earthquake, he felt fortunate. Fortunately, I entered the, Hueco Mundo, through the gate in time. Otherwise, in terms of the previous destructive power, I am afraid that the Urahara store will be the center, and the area within 10 miles of it will be cleared. At this time, after Urahara and others saw Yu Taifeng, they all rushed over. They gathered Yu Taifeng in a circle and looked at him with surprise and curiosity. Teacher, are you okay? Kuchiki Shanghei looked at Yu Taifeng nervously, and asked in a low voice. Yu Taifeng smiled and said to everyone, I'm fine, but you should heal your injuries quickly. If there is no injury, I will find a way to recover my state as soon as possible. After a long conversation, everyone also returned to where they should go. At this time, Shihuan Yoruichi chased up from behind and asked in a low voice, Teacher, that. Yu Taifeng looked at Yoruichi curiously, although she didn't know what she was going to do. However, he smiled and asked, What's the matter? What's the matter? Read more at mtlarchive.com. Wouldn't it be that you want to ask me about Shunpo's skills again? After being silent for a while, Yoruichi even blushed and said in a low voice, Teacher, Urahara, they will organize a dinner at the Urahara store tomorrow night. He originally planned to let Ichigo and the others inform you tomorrow, but... But what? Yu Taifeng asked helplessly. Dot 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 dot. Yoruichi raised her head slightly and glanced at Yu Taifeng, then lowered her head and said in a low voice, Actually, I had planned it before. Tomorrow I will ask the teacher to go out with Orihime. Who knows, Urahara temporarily decided to have dinner tomorrow, so I will let you know for Urahara first. Yu Taifeng smiled and nodded. Just as he was about to thank Yoruichi, he found that the other party turned around and left for a while. Looking at Yoruichi's back, Yu Taifeng also heard the meaning of the words. But he didn't think much about it, and continued to walk towards his residence. Yoruichi, who had come to the entrance of Yurahara's shop, quietly turned and looked at the direction Yu Taifeng was leaving. Just when she didn't know what was thinking in her mind, Inoue Orihime walked out of the store with a bandage on her arm. After Orihime saw a somewhat abnormal Yoruichi, he curiously approached her and asked, Yoruichi-sama, why is your face so red? Is it something uncomfortable? Do you need me to treat you? Yoruichi realized his gaffe just now, and smiled awkwardly at Orihime. Then he said, Orihime, let's go to the hot springs together. That hot spring can help us recover as soon as possible. Orihime froze for a while, then smiled directly and mixed with Yoruichi's fetal shoulder, and said happily, Onsen, Onsen, let's go, Yoruichi-sama. After a while, the two of them walked towards the depths of the Urahara store. Percent 3, Hueco Mundo, Shuyi Palace. Aizen dismissed everyone after returning to the Zai Palace, sitting alone on the tall throne and meditating. In fact, after he obtained Hogyoku, he has always been very confident that he can walk an unparalleled path on the road to becoming stronger. However, today, when his, Kyoka Suigetsu, failed against Yu Taifung Hypnosis, he slightly doubted himself. After thinking for a while, the ugly expression on his face slowly became soothed, and the whole person sat on the throne casually. Because Aizen discovered that Yu Taifung was able to get rid of the, Kyoka Suigetsu, move completely because of the strange Zanpakuto. So now, if he uses Hogyoku to create an errand car that can limit Zanpakuto's ability, all problems will be solved. Thinking of this, Aizen's mouth showed a faint smile. After Grimjiao left, he brought several of his subordinate officers to the outside of Zai Palace. At this moment, he sat on a large rock with a cold face and was silent. Grimjiao, what should we do now? Xiao Long, who was thin, looked at Grimjiao who was silent and asked. I would never have thought that a puppy would have two exclusive positions. Although Grimjiao's words were full of disdain, there was a trace of fear in his eyes. Everyone sighed deeply and turned their eyes to Grimjiao again. Grimjiao looked at the comrades who were walking along with him in front of him, and said somewhat nonchalantly, Wang Zhao's never mind if Kuchibro has such a strong power. I can't figure out how Aizen-sama would give Wukiora another chance. At this time, Xiao Long stepped forward and patted Grimjiao lightly on the shoulder, and then said, because he and Stark are both self-owned cars, and we. Although Xiao Long didn't say the rest, Grimjiao and the other officials also understood the meaning of this sentence. After Grimjiao was silent for a long time, he looked excited and said, tomorrow. It's tomorrow night, let's go to this world. We need to find what Mr. Aizen said, the guy named Kurosaki Ichigo. Then kill him. This not only removes a problem for Aizen-sama, but also proves in disguise that our strength is not necessarily weaker than the two guys Kuchibro and Ulkiora. Xiao Long and a group of subordinate officials looked at each other after hearing these words, and then all nodded gently. 
Chapter 114 Plan Start 2. Subscription Required. In the afternoon of the next day, Yu Taifeng, who had finished his work day, was packing his own things at the table. At this moment, a chaotic sound came into the classroom from the corridor. Look, it's a bad boy. Look at it. That bald head is holding a wooden sword, it looks so fierce. The lead turned out to be an elementary school student. My god. Look, the red-haired guy still has tattoos. The orange-haired little sister hey hey black. Corridor students after seeing this ill intent of a group of people, one after another in a whisper whispering. Although Yu Taifeng did not leave the classroom, he already guessed who these five people are. At this time, Ichigo and others have also come to the podium. Before Ichigo could speak, Inoue Orihime jumped next to Yu Taifeng and said to him happily, Teacher, we all went to Mr. Urahara for dinner today. Mr. Urahara said that they need to prepare ingredients, so let us accompany you there. Yu Taifeng looked at Inoue who was smiling and nodded in response. Sato kept his head down but did not speak. Yu Taifeng naturally noticed this. He looked at Sato and asked, Sato, why do you seem to be 763 unhappy? Sato, who was in a trance just now, whispered to Yu Taifeng, it's nothing, teacher. It's just that Ishida looks a little weird lately. Naturally, Yu Taifeng knew that it was Ishida Yulong's father who helped him retrieve the power of the Quincy in exchange for keeping him away from Ichigo and others. However, Yu Taifeng didn't take this matter to heart. He smiled and said to the three of them, since Ishida-san is inconvenient, there must be some important things. Then let's go. Quote, just as everyone was about to leave the classroom, four men and a woman blocked their way directly. When Aburai Renji found Yu Taifeng, he froze. Just when he was about to remind the people around him, Matarei Makaku suddenly jumped out, picked up the wooden sword in his hand and gestured with Ichigo. Hitsugaya Tashiro and others naturally noticed the existence of Yu Taifeng. They looked at Matarei Makaku, who was still making gestures with Ichigo, and their faces became very ugly. Hey, Ichigo, master today, I have to make a good show with you. Matarei Makaku said loudly, holding the wooden sword in his hand. Just as Ichigo was preparing AHBG to attack, suddenly thought of Yu Taifeng beside him. He did not play with Matarei Makaku uncharacteristically, but kept winking at him. However, Matarei Makaku thought that Ichigo deliberately used an excuse to prevaricate him, and strangely called the wooden sword in his hand to cut Ichigo's head. Yu Taifeng looked at this scene with a smile on his face, and didn't say much. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Aburai Renji hugged Matarei Makaku from behind and whispered in his ear, Hey! Idiot! We don't want to die with you! Dead! How to die? Are you scaring me? Matarei Makaku looked at Renji in surprise and said loudly. Just when he was about to attack again, he noticed Yu Taifeng beside Ichigo. After a daze, the expression on Matarei Makaku's face instantly became very exciting. He cried and said, Ichigo! You fellow! Yu Taifeng looked at Matarei Makaku with rich Yan Yi, and said with a smile, Well, very energetic. Aburai Renji and others hurried forward, bowed towards Yu Taifeng and said, Senior. You were sent to find the trail of Mano's Grande and Arankar, right? Yu Taifeng looked at the serious Renji and others, and asked calmly. Senior. As you expected, after the Technical Development Bureau discovered the anomaly in Karakura Town, it reported the situation to Captain Yamamoto. After the meeting, it was decided that a few of us would come to support Karakura Town. Renji said respectfully. Well, that's all right. Let's go first, please do it yourself. Yu Taifeng nodded slightly, and then left directly. After Ichigo winked at everyone, he hurriedly left behind Yu Taifeng. Why do you feel that the predecessors are even more intangible? Renji muttered to himself with a face full of confusion. Hitsugaya Tashiro looked at the direction Yu Taifeng had left, with a solemn expression on his face. After seeing Tashiro's reaction, Matsumoto Rangaku smiled and joked, I didn't expect that captain, you still have someone you were afraid of, ha 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 ha. After Tashiro glanced at Matsumoto Rangaku, he said in a cold voice, aren't you? After the group left together, they began to discuss the issue of their residence. When Yu Taifeng and others arrived at the Urahara store, Kuchiki Shanghe, who had been waiting not far away, hurried over. He came to Yu Taifeng and said happily, Teacher, I have prepared your favorite wine for you. Urahara is still busy in it, so they didn't come out to meet you. Yu Taifeng smiled and nodded, and walked into the Urahara store with Ichigo and others under the guidance of Shanghe. In the blink of an eye, it was late at night, and a black crack slowly appeared in the quiet sky. I saw Grimjiao with blue hair. Later, Xiaolong and other subordinate officials also followed him out one after another. Open the detection circuit and try your best to search for the guy named Kurosaki Ichigo. Grimjiao said to his opponents. Under the leadership of Grimjiao, everyone began to shuttle and search the night sky of Karakura town. Ten minutes later, Xiaolong whispered to Grimjiao in front of him, three suspicious places were found. One is a warehouse with a special barrier in the distance, the other is a small-looking shop, and the last is on the top of a hill. Try to be faster, so be it. At the same time, Yu Taifeng was also chatting with everyone in Urahara store. Reward. I went to the store over there with Glans and Roy. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Dot 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 dot. Grimjiao's search results naturally coincide with everyone. If he is not found in these two places, we will meet here and go to the top of the mountain together. 
Coupled with the reason that Urahara and others are also extremely enthusiastic, Yu Taifeng in a good mood inevitably follow the crowd to play around. Report. Share. At this moment, a red sero in the sky with a violent energy rushed down towards the location of the Urahara store. After traveling to the Shinigami world for so many years, he has never participated in a similar form of dinner. Where do we start first? He turned around and said, Xiao Long, Adelaide and Nakin, the three of you go to the warehouse over there. After Xiao Long and the others nodded each other, they also turned into afterimages, rushing in the direction of their respective assignments. After Grimjiao said it, it turned into an afterimage and disappeared. Chapter 115 Verify the Conjecture in My Mind 3. Seeking Subscription. The night in Karakura town is extremely quiet, Hiroko Shinji is sitting on the roof of the warehouse and watching the night sky quietly. It has been 112 years since he and the others were attacked and framed by Aizen. He used to miss the Night of Soul Society abnormally, but with the passage of time, he has gradually become accustomed to staring at the night sky of Karakura Town at night. Hey, Hiroko, are you pretending to be deep again? Surugaki Hiori walked slowly to Hiroko's side, looked up at the stars in the sky and said. Hisori, I don't know when we can report it, Hiroko asked with a serious face. While the two were discussing the revenge plan, they only felt that three powerful Reiatsu struck from a distance. The breath of Reiatsu I've never seen before. Hiroko got up quickly and put his hand on the handle of the sword. Naturally, like Hiroko, Hiroko also felt the unidentified three shares of Reiatsu. She decisively pulled out her Zanpakuto from behind, looking dignified looking into the distance. After a while, three white-clothed figures with different looks appeared in the sky, and the Reiatsu radiated from them were never seen before by Hiroko and others. Hiroko, the masks on their heads. Hai Shina solemnly reminded. Hiroko slowly pulled out his Zanpakuto from his waist, and urged in a low voice, Hisori, be careful. The two of them entered the hollow state decisively without any hesitation, and were always ready to fight. Xiao Long frowned slightly, looking at the two people on the roof, a look of vigilance flashed in his eyes. Xiao Long, there are still six in the warehouse. Nakim, who was standing next to Xiao Long, reminded him. While the two sides were still confronting each other, Muguruma Kensai and others came to the roof one after another. Hiroko, those three guys should be what Urahara they call Arankar, right? As the virtual Shinigami turned, ha ha, you still have to be cautious, after all, they are Aizen's masterpieces. Hurry up, hurry up, I'm going to read the magazine after I'm done. Xiao Ri Ri, which one do you choose? Let me accompany you, ha ha. There were still people with tense emotions, but I don't know why they started joking. The three of Xiao Long couldn't think that there were as many as eight people on the other side. Although they were not afraid, they also began to be vigilant. The most important thing is that the group of people on the roof completely regarded them as air, and started to chat about the sky on their own. Hey, do you know a guy named Kurosaki Ichigo? Nakim, who could not bear it next to Xiao Long, asked angrily. Since it's here, let's take a good look at Aizen's masterpiece. Hiroko Shinji said, then turned into an afterimage and killed it. Hey, you Shoji, leave one for me. Surugaki Hiori looked at Hiroko Shinji who had already rushed into the sky, and while shouting with an angry voice, he also turned into an afterimage and rushed up. These two guys, Muguruma Kensai shook his head helplessly, and after giving a wink to everyone, he also pulled out his Zanpakuto and joined the battle. For a while, the sky above the warehouse echoed with the collision of various weapons. Dot 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 You Typhung who was playing with the crowd, suddenly felt the devastating force from the sky. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Just as he was about to remind everyone, he saw Kuchiki Shonghei and Urahara Kazuki had turned into two afterimages, directly rushing through the roof to meet them. Kurosaki Ichigo and others naturally also discovered the anomaly in the sky, and they all looked at the red flash that quickly hit the sky with surprise. Heaven's Proud Sun, a wall made of iron. Dragon Walk, Lion Roar, Tiger Roar, Wolf Rush. Cut off the world before it collapses. 81 of Bakudo. Splitting void. Urahara Kazuki gave a soft voice and used Kido for defense. Kuchiki Shanghe looked at the three figures in the sky with an angry expression, and whispered in an unusually indifferent tone, whisper. Muramasa. As Kuchiki Kawakawa and Urahara Kazuki reacted quickly, Tesai Sukabishi has also finished singing the barrier for defense. Just as Shihuan Yorichi was about to rush to the sky, Yu Taifung gently pressed her hand on her shoulder and said with a smile, Yorichi, you and Tesai protect Ichigo and them, I will go up and take a look. But teacher. Yoruichi just wanted to say something, but found that Yu Taifeng's figure had disappeared in place. She looked at the position where Yu Taifeng just stood, and said to herself, Teacher Shunko is already almost like this. Boom rumble. The red sero directly hit the protective layer of the splitting void, and a violent explosion sounded instantly. At the same time, a violent shock wave swept across the area, making bursts of howling and breaking through the air. Kurosaki Ichigo and others looked at the huge movement in the sky, and couldn't help being a little surprised. When Yu Taifung rushed into the sky, Kuchiki Shanghei and Urahara Kazuki had already battled with the three figures. The end of the thousand hands, the noble hand who can't reach the dark, the heavenly archer who can't be reflected. The glorious fall road, fan the wind of igniting the seeds. There is no need to be confused when you gather and gather, just follow what I mean. Light bullet, eight body, nine points, celestial scripture, ill treasure, big wheel. 
The gray turret, leading the bow to the distance, dissipated brightly. 91 of Hado. Thousand hands Jaoshan Taipao. I saw Urahara Kazuki sing intently and softly while avoiding the enemy's attack. As he finished chanting, dozens of red rays of light came out from his hands, and quickly attacked Grimjiao and others in the sky. Zero. Look for flowers. Boom. Rumbling. The sound of violent explosions echoed in the sky endlessly, and clouds of black dust and smoke appeared from time to time. Compared to Urahara Kazuki's regular fighting style, Kuchiki Shanghei and the white robe next to him looked a little weird. I saw two figures emitting a purple light from the doctor, flying back and forth in the sky. From time to time, there is still a green light, struck in the direction of Grimjiao and others. At this time, Kuchiki Shanghei and Urahara Kazuki naturally also discovered Yu Taifeng. The two came to Yu Taifeng's side in an instant, and said almost in unison, Teacher, leave it to us here. Yu Taifeng, who had already opened the exploration loop, naturally saw the Reiatsu value of the Grimjiao trio. Percent 3D. Percent 3D. In order to verify his previous guess, Yu Taifeng directly took out his Zanpakuto from the system backpack. He smiled and Chong Shanghei nodded gently, looked at Grimjiao's direction and whispered, Eat everything. Chaos gluttony. Bankai. As Yu Taifeng resorted to Bankai, a wave of majestic Reiatsu spewed directly from his body, rushing towards the Grimjiao trio like a billowing torrent. Kuchiki Shanghei and Urahara Kazuki only felt a slight dizziness, and then only saw Yu Taifeng's figure disappeared. In a short while, it turned into strands of flying ash, slowly floating in the night sky. Ah uh ah, -uh, Grimjiao could clearly feel that his two companions were dead. Accompanied by two miserable roars, the vitality of Glanz and Roy, who had just finished their return, was rapidly diminishing. Report. I saw that Yu Taifeng moved like an instant, flashing on top of Grimjiao and others without warning. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. He swung his sword at the three figures under his feet expressionlessly, and the fog time produced three terrifying attractions. No, it's him. Grimjiao let out a soft sigh, reminding his companions around him. What? Reward. Grimjiao only felt an indescribable peeling sensation covering his whole body, and even the concentration of spirits in his body had dropped a lot. Ing. Share. At the same time, while his feet were volleying force, he directly used the sound to get out of this area as soon as possible. Grimjiao and others, who had just fallen into a bitter battle, looked at the weird figure above their head with a look of astonishment, and were instantly enveloped in a sense of horror. Just as he was preparing to return to the blade with a soft drink, he only felt a black shadow appear in his eyes instantly. It's not good that he succeeded in a dangerous and dangerous way and instantly reached the distance, looking solemnly in the direction he was just now. Chapter 116 Performance Against Common Sense 4. Seeking Subscription. Crunch. Leopard King. Grimjow looked at the black shadow that appeared in front of him instantly, let out a roar, and entered the state of returning to the blade. The moment he had just finished his return, he turned into an afterimage and flew out. Puff. A mouthful of scarlet blood spurted from Grimjow's mouth, and the two sharp blades that appeared on his arms were directly shattered into powder because of this huge impact. Kuchiki and Urahara Kazuki looked at what was happening in front of them in shock, and remained silent for a long time. Although both of them are confident that they can defeat each other, it is estimated that it will take a lot of effort. They never thought that Yu Taifeng would have such terrifying power after, Bankai. Just swiping a few swords like an understatement, the two powerful Arankars turned into ashes and dissipated in the wind. At this moment, even Kuchiki Shanghei, who knows his attack method is weird, 763, can't help but look at him. If his ability is to be described as weird, then what is Yu Taifeng? Everyone in the Urahara shop looked up at the mysterious figure in the sky with stunned eyes, and was about to lose the ability to think. Teacher, what realm has he reached? Tesai Tsukabishi slowly took off his eyes and muttered to himself solemnly. Except for Yoruichi, Ichigo and others all have a feeling of doubting life at this time. It took Grimjiao a lot of energy to barely stabilize his figure. He looked at the figure in the distance with a horrified face, and began to quickly think about the countermeasures in his heart. For a long time, Grimjiao has been very confident in his own strength, even if it is the strongest like Aizen, there is actually a trace of dissatisfaction in his heart. However, today, with just one blow from the opponent, he was embarrassed in his home state. Grimjiao couldn't figure out how, he just wanted to prove himself to Aizen and others, how could he meet such a terrifying opponent? Do you only have this ability? Yu Taifeng looked at Grimjiao in the distance with disappointment, smiled and shook his head. This Reiatsu sky cover was destroyed by him, no good. Grimjiao looked at Yu Taifeng with a calm face, and instantly thought of the weird thing that happened in, Hueco Mundo, secretly saying that it was not good. Coupled with Aizen's state after returning to the Palace of the Night, Grimjiao couldn't help but feel shocked. He had already faintly guessed that Aizen must have lost to the opponent. So now, he obviously has nowhere to go, and he can only fight with all his strength. Drink. Grimjiao shouted angrily, forced a mass of blood out of his palm, and began to mobilize Reiatsu on his body to try to make the final resistance. After Kuchiki Shanghei felt a breath of danger, he involuntarily reminded him loudly, Teacher. Be careful. Urahara Kazuki, who was standing next to him, said softly, Shanghei, your and my worries are unnecessary. The teacher's current state is no longer the time when he taught us. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Even Yamamoto was seriously injured by him. Who else in this world would be his opponent? 
Kuchiki Shanghe was taken aback after hearing Urahara Kazuki's words. Then he smiled helplessly and responded. Urahara, I know what you said. I just can't help but worry about the teacher, maybe this is an instinctive reaction. After all, if there is no teacher, I am afraid I am still suffering from the blood seal in the deep mountain. Urahara Kazuki gently patted Kuchiki on the shoulder, and the two focused on Grimjow again. Dot 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 dot. At this moment, I saw a blue light group in Grimjow's hand, which was rapidly expanding and exuding bursts of destruction. Yu Taifeng still looked so light and breezy, smiling at Grimjow who was ready to go, as if this battle had nothing to do with him. As this Saro, Urahara Kazuki looked at the brighter and brighter blue light beam, his eyes filled with curiosity. Compared to ordinary Saro, how do you feel that the energy contained in it is many times higher? Kuchiki Shanghe's face was also full of surprise at this time. Go to hell. After Grimjow let out a roar, he threw the cyan Saro in his hand. I saw that after he completed this action, his hands had already changed into sharp claws, and ten blue light blades were attached to his arms. P. Grimjow's whole person turned into a blue afterimage, with bursts of howling and breaking through the air, and quickly attacked in the direction of Yu Taifeng. Yu Taifeng looked at the oncoming blue Saro and the high-speed flying figure, and said to himself, Wang Shu's flash. It's interesting. In a blink of an eye, Wang Shu's flash of blue light exuding bursts of blue light has rushed in front of Yu Taifeng. When Grimjow looked at Yu Taifeng who was motionless, a strange look flashed in his eyes. He would never have thought that the other party had no intention of avoiding it at all. This rekindled a glimmer of hope in Grimjow's heart, and he vigorously waved his arms, trying to maximize the attack power of his, Leopard King's claw. Hissing. A sound that seemed to be extinguished by flames appeared on Zanpakuto who was slowly raised by Yu Taifeng. However, the violent explosion that everyone imagined did not appear. I only saw that the blue Saro, full of destructive energy, was like a balloon filled with water but leaking, and it quickly became dry. At this moment, the violent Reiatsu and Link C in the blue Saro were completely absorbed by the black Zanpakuto in Yu Taifeng's hands. How can this be? Saro was actually absorbed. How did he do it, teacher? Unbelievable. This is just like a dream. So horrible. After seeing this scene, everyone outside the Urahara store on the ground exclaimed. Grimjow came to Yu Taifeng in a flash with a blue phantom. When he saw this amazing and weird scene, his face was already full of fear. But now, he has no choice. Grimjow gritted his teeth fiercely. After making a 1.6 anger, he waved the blue light blade attached to his arms and slashed towards Yu Taifeng's front door. Crack. A sound of glass breaking appeared on the blue light blade, and Grimjow looked at the fast shattering, Leopard King's claw, with an incredible expression on his face. This steel skin. Also, this red vein, how can this be? Grimjow looked at Yu Taifeng's metallic arms and stammered in a bitter tone. It's just a steel skin and a static blood suit. Yu Taifeng looked at Grimjow as the vitality was passing fast, the smile on his face gradually disappeared, and said softly. Then he shook the Zanpakuto in his hand slightly, and saw Grimjow in front of him, turning into strands of flying ash and drifting away in the wind. At this moment, a black crack quietly appeared behind Yu Taifeng. Chapter 117 Uninvited Guest, 5 fifths for subscription. Outside the warehouse where Hiroko Shinji and others were the base camp, everyone looked calmly at Erenkar who had fallen to the ground. Why do you guys have emptiness? Xiao Long stared his eyes in despair and stammered on the ground. However, before he finished speaking, he disappeared into wisps of flying ash. After everyone looked at each other, there was a slight smile on their faces, and then they walked towards the warehouse together. Look, there are Reiatsu fluctuations over there. Kuna Mashiro pointed her finger into the distance and said loudly to everyone. Hiroko and others also noticed the Reiatsu fluctuations in the distance, and raised their heads to look into the distance. Is that Reiatsu, teacher? Yadomaru Lisa put his hand on his glasses and said with a puzzled expression on his face. Although it is the teacher's Reiatsu, how does it feel different from before? Hachigan said. After Hiroko Shinji glanced at the crowd, he nodded slightly at them, and then everyone disappeared into afterimages. Karakura Town, on the top of a hill. Hitsugaya Toshiro sat alone not far from the crowd, not knowing what he was thinking. Matsumoto Rangaku looked at Asan and Renji and Matarei Makaku who were playing together, smiled and turned his gaze to Toshiro. The troubles of a genius boy. Oh seven. While Matsumoto Rangaku said in his heart, he thought of Yu Taifung inexplicably. After all, both of them are famous geniuses in Seoul society history. She smiled and shook her head, after taking her thoughts away, she walked in the direction of Toshiro. At this moment, several majestic Reiatsu fluctuations caught Matsumoto Rangaku's attention. Hitsugaya Toshiro slowly got up, frowned slightly and looked up into the distance. At this time, Renji and others, who were still frolicking, also quieted down one after another. After everyone glanced at each other, they all rose into the air and rushed to the distance quickly. Yu Taifeng glanced at the three boxes floating at his feet, glanced at the crowd watching the battle, and nodded slightly to them. Just as everyone was relieved from the exclamation just now, they only saw a black crack appearing behind Yu Taifeng. Teacher, be careful, everyone reminded loudly, almost in unison. Yu Taifeng naturally felt the spatial fluctuations from behind. He turned around calmly, but only felt that his eyes were plunged directly into the boundless darkness. He smiled helplessly, and then waved Zanpakuto in his hand a few times. 
At this time, the dark environment returned to normal again, and a black stream quickly merged into the Zanpakuto in his hand. Since it's here, let's stay. Yu Taifeng said indifferently in a tone that does not mix any emotions. I saw a muffled sound not far behind him, and then a transparent figure quickly revealed his original face. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Just when everyone wanted to step forward to support, they saw this almost weird scene. It turned out to be him. Kurosaki Ichigo said slightly surprised. Shihuan Yoruichi stared at the figure closely, decisively lifted his feet into the air, using Shunpo to move quickly from time to time. After a while, he came to Yu Taifung's side and nodded at Shanghei and Yurahara who were also coming quickly. Captain Tusan, don't come unharmed. Yurahara Kazuki stepped forward and said slowly. It was not someone else who wanted to launch a sneak attack, but Tusan Konami who defected to Soul Society with Aizen. Don't do it yet, Hiroko and Toshiro will be here soon. Yu Taifung glanced at Tusan Konami who was trapped by him, and raised his hand to stop the few who wanted to go forward. Kuchiki Shanghei bowed slightly to Yu Taifung, staring coldly at Tusan Konami. If the eyes can kill people, then Tusan Konami may have died hundreds of times now. After a while, Hiroko, Toshiro and others arrived here one after another. When they saw Tusan Konami trapped in the barrier, they couldn't help but feel a little excited. Let go of me, I'm going to kill this guy, Tsurugaki Hiori yelled angrily, but because of the relationship between Kunamashiro and Yadomaru Lisa being pulled from behind, he could only struggle in place. When she saw Yu Taifung not far away, she realized that she was a little gaff and stopped with embarrassment. Tusan Konami knew that he couldn't escape, so he could only stand there and watch the changes with a serious face. Yu Taifung looked at Tusan Konami who was still calm not far away, and couldn't help but think of the plot in Shinigami's original book. Grimjow and others came to this world privately to find Kurosaki Ichigo. Finally, when Ichigo was about to be killed by Grimjow, Tusan Konami appeared and took Grimjow away. Then in the Palace of the Night, Tusan Konami chopped off one of Grimjow's arms because of Aizen's aggressive attack. However, according to the current situation, Tusan Konami not only emptied himself this time, but also took his own life. Everyone looked at Yu Taifung, wondering how he would deal with this matter. At this time, Yu Taifung, who had been silent for a long time, finally said, Grimjow and they are already dead, and you will probably die here today. Tusan Konami frowned when he heard these words, but he still clenched Zanpakuto in his hands and stood there silently. After Yu Taifung glanced at Hiroko and others, he thought of a more appropriate solution. He looked down at a few people outside the Urahara store and said loudly, Ichigo, come up. After Kurosaki Ichigo heard Yu Taifung's words, he directly transformed himself into Shinigami and jumped into the air. Yu Taifung looked at Tusan Konami again, pointed at Kurosaki Ichigo, who was puzzled beside him, and said, kill him. You can leave here. After hearing these words, everyone's faces were shocked. Kurosaki Ichigo couldn't help but step back at this time, not knowing what to say. Teacher, is this going to push himself into the fire pit? Yu Taifung seemed to have not seen the expressions on everyone's faces, and said to Ichigo 763 with a serious face, kill him, you may be able to completely control your hollow power. Report. Ichigo now has a faint feeling that it is difficult to make a decision. Ever since he discovered that there was an uncontrollable force in his body, he has been trying to escape. At this moment, whether it is Hiroko at all, or Urahara at all, they can't help but think of their time in the Spiritual Arts Academy. Had it not been for Hiroko to show up and invite him to join the Masked Legion, he might not be willing to face it up until now. However, now, Yu Taifung not only made such a strange request to him, but also clearly pointed out the problem he has been unwilling to face. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. It was Madare Makaku and Ayasagawa Yumashika who looked at each other and laughed involuntarily. Reward. After hearing what Yu Taifung said, Hiroko and others instantly understood what Yu Taifung meant. After hearing Yu Taifung's request, Ichigo kept his head down and said nothing. Share. After a long time, he carried Zanpakuto straight on his shoulders, smiled and said, let me in, teacher. Naturally, Hitsugaya and others have never seen such a way. But the two of them will do whatever it takes to keep themselves alive. Ichigo looked at Yu Taifung in surprise, and didn't know what to say for a while. Just when they wanted to say something, they only heard Yu Taifung saying in a cold voice, no matter how you train him, you will actually keep your hands. If you want Ichigo to master his own power, let him have an epiphany in the battle. Chapter 118 Suzumushi 100 Styles Crazy crickets. 1. Subscription required. When Kurosaki Ichigo made up his mind, Yu Taifung nodded gently to him. Everyone also watched him walk into the barrier not far away, with different expressions on his face. After putting his Zanpakuto into the system backpack, Yu Taifung began to watch the battle between Ichigo and Tusan Konami. When Ichigo just walked into the enchantment, he only heard a, buzzing, sound. He looked at Tusan Konami, who was holding Zanpakuto with both hands in front of him, with a hint of vigilance in his eyes. At this moment, I saw that the new soul sword in Tusan Konami's hand began to vibrate extremely quickly, making a sound like an insect screaming. After Ichigo roared, he burst out all the reyatsu in his body, and then raised Zanpakuto in his hand and rushed over. Steel. The sound of the collision of swordsmen and soldiers echoed throughout the enchantment, and the two Zanpakuto came together after wiping a little spark. For a while, there was a feeling of stalemate. 
buzzing. As the Zanpakuto in Tusan Konami's hand shakes more violently, Ichigo only feels that he is not only dizzy, but even Zanpakuto in his hand seems to be flying out. Boom. A huge impact caused Ichigo to fly upside down. After he stabilized his figure, he yelled, Bankai. I saw a mixture of red and black light, instantly enveloping Ichigo's whole person, and the Reiatsu emanating from his body rose steadily. Tusan Konami said indifferently, Suzumushi Type 2. Migratory locusts. When Ichigo was about to attack again, he only felt a destructive force above his head. Swish swish. With the sound of the blade breaking through the air, countless white blades appeared on top of Ichigo's head, which fell suddenly like rain. He hurriedly made a few tumbling movements, but was still bruised by some of the sharp swords. After a while, his wounds began to bleed. Percent. Z% 1% at. Tusan Konami felt the other party's embarrassment, gritted his teeth fiercely, and then turned into an afterimage and killed him towards Ichigo. Now he has no retreat, and he can only find ways to kill the opponent first, so as to win a ray of life. Ichigo and Tusan Konami have collided dozens of times. Ichigo panted and wiped the blood from the wound on his forehead with his hand, and stared at Tusan Konami who struck again with a serious face. At this moment, Ichigo only felt that the voice that disgusted him appeared in his mind again. Ichigo, leave it to me. Ha 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 ha. After resisting the enemy's attack again, Ichigo only felt that his whole person had become more trance. Read more at mtlarchive.com. He now has a contradictory feeling. On the one hand, he does not want to face his own power, but on the other hand, he can no longer support it. Tusan Konami found the opportunity and used several sharp attacks to add several new wounds to Ichigo's body again. Although he had the upper hand at this time, he knew very well in his heart that the young man in front of him could make eyes and look at him. Under the reaction force of the collision between the swords and soldiers, Tusan Konami quickly stabilized his figure, and whispered, Suzumushi Hundred Styles. Yan Mo Cricket. At this time, a black elliptical sphere suddenly appeared in the enchantment set by Yu Taifung, directly enclosing both Tusan Konami and Ichigo. Suddenly, this enchantment for the two to fight was completely filled with black oval spheres. A majestic Reiatsu came out from the barrier, and a whistling gust of wind was picked up. The people around Yu Taifung who were still watching the battle were slightly shocked after seeing this scene. Although they could imagine, Tusan Konami would do his best to fight for his life. But everyone has some surprises, Tusan Konami's strength is so terrifying. Since everyone can't see the situation in the barrier, they can only guess how far the battle between the two is going. Boom. Boom rumble. After the two strong Reiatsu collided, the black elliptical sphere shattered directly, and everyone was able to watch the situation in the barrier again. Ah uh ah. -uh. After Ichigo let out a roar, his entire face was covered by a mask, and as he exuded bursts of violent Reiatsu, there were bursts of painful hiss in his mouth. Except for Yu Taifung who was still watching the battle, the faces of the others couldn't help showing a trace of worry. Tusan Konami was directly impacted and flew out because of the violent Reiatsu after Ichigo Hollow. He hurriedly shook Zanpakuto in his hand in the opposite direction, and at the same time the blade was facing downward, his body began to be enveloped in purple-black energy. How is it possible, he can even master Hollow? At this moment, not only the eyes of Shanghai and Tashiro were filled with surprise, but even Hiroko Shinji felt a little weird. Uh, go to hell. The current Ichigo was obviously controlled by the power of Hollow in his body. After screaming, he waved Zanpakuto in his hand and came to Tusan Konami in an instant. Just when everyone thought Ichigo would succeed, they saw that Tusan Konami was even faster than Ichigo. After a flash of movement, he directly waved Zanpakuto in his hand and slashed it on Ichigo's back. After Ichigo let out a muffled groan, he knelt down on the ground, and a pool of blood spurted out of his mouth, and his body began to tremble slightly. Ah, uh, go to hell. A cloud of black mist wrapped Tusan Konami's entire body, and Ichigo knelt on the ground weakly with the handle of the sword in his hand after a roar. Everyone who was watching the battle started to discuss with you, but Yu Taifung calmly looked at the direction of the enchantment, as if waiting for something. Change. A wave of majestic Reiatsu spouted from Ichigo's body, and even the barrier set by Yu Taifung became a little unstable. His condition looks a bit bad. It's not good. Suzumushi Hundred Styles. Crazy Crickets. Share. Report. What happened to Tusan Konami? I saw Tusan Konami and Ichigo both beginning to emit light of different colors, and their aura began to rise. Reward. Teacher this. Accompanied by Wang Zhao Zhao, two roars full of anger. Two violent Reiatsu seemed to possess spirituality, and both rushed towards each other at a very fast speed. Boom. Ichigo has taken back control of the body. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Tusan Konami gritted his teeth fiercely, and also roared angrily Chapter 119 Hollow. Return to the Edge. 2. Seeking Subscription. Kurosaki Ichigo struggled to regain control of his body. At this time, he was as if he was out of strength with his hands hanging on the hilt of the sword, and the whole person was in an indescribable embarrassment. Looking at Tusan Konami on the other side, after a roar, the whole person was enveloped in a cloud of dark mist. I saw that the black mist was rapidly shrinking, and a stronger than before, Reiatsu started to make a strange sound, buzzing. Everyone looked at the direction of the barrier without turning their eyes, only Urahara Kazuki frowned and looked down and thought. Yu Taifung still looked calmly at the enchantment in the distance, with a faint smile on his face. Are you here? Yu Taifung's mouth raised slightly and said to himself. 
When the thick black fog completely dissipated, everyone finally saw the scene in the barrier. I saw a huge black monster on the opposite side of Ichigo, waving the thin wings like cicada wings behind it, making strange laughter. Ha 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 ha, I can see it, I can see it, is this the sky, is this the earth, is this the present Karakura town? After seeing this scene, everyone couldn't help taking two steps back, with incredible expressions all over their faces. Ichigo looked at the monster in the distance, and was stunned for a moment. Because the monster in front of me was like a giant fly 763. It is black all over, covered with a thick layer of scale armor. The positions of the hands and feet were all replaced by sharp claws, and bursts of sharp, gloomy light radiated from them. Under the translucent black wings behind, there was a tail full of spines. The most unbearable thing is that on its head covered with white armor, there is a pair of huge compound eyes that are completely disproportionate to the size of the body, and there are countless green pupils hidden under the orange compound eyes. If it weren't for the discernible human jaw in its weird head, I'm afraid no one would believe that this was the Tusan Konami just now. Boy, you can go to death. I'm definitely not something you can defeat in the state of returning to the blade. Tusan Konami said to Ichigo in an insane tone. He had become a monster, as if he had completely lost his fear, completely ignoring that there were so many people looking at him outside the barrier. Now he just wants to tear the Kurosaki Ichigo in front of him to pieces to vent his dissatisfaction. In his opinion, if it weren't for Kurosaki Ichigo, Grimjow and others would not come to this world secretly, and Aizen would not order himself to bring Grimjow and others back to the Void Palace. In this case, he himself would not be blocked by Yu Taifung and others in this enchantment. Tusan Konami became more and more angry in his heart, and moved behind Ichigo in an instant. While swinging his sharp claws to attack, he mobilized Reiatsu in his body to let out a harsh roar. Ah, go to hell. After Ichigo looked at Tusan Konami who had disappeared in the same place, he screamed inwardly, and quickly mobilized Reiatsu in his body and turned around to resist the opponent's attack with Zanpakuto. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Suddenly, Tusan Konami's sharp claws slashed Zanpakuto in Ichigo's hand, bringing countless firelights under the infiltrating sounds. At the same time, while attacking frantically with his claws, he roared, nine phase round kill. I saw several green sound waves spread out of Tusan Konami's mouth, directly attacking Ichigo's body. Teacher, Ichigo is dangerous, Hiroko Shinji hurriedly said to Yu Taifung. Everyone looked over nervously, hoping that Yu Taifung could take some corresponding measures. Whoever thought that he chose to ignore Hiroko's persuasion, and said calmly, after he has realized his current potential, I will naturally find a way. At this moment, because of Tusan Konami's sonic attack, Ichigo vomited blood and flew out again. At this moment, even Surugaki Hiori and Matarei Makaku, who loved to play the most on weekdays, stood quietly and silently. Ichigo got up from the ground with difficulty, severely tore off the hollow mask on his face, and looked solemnly at Tusan Konami who attacked again. Sero. Vision kill. Accompanied by a frantic shout, two green rays of light flew out of Tusan Konami's eyes quickly, and AHBG shot towards Ichigo in the distance. Boom rumble. A violent explosion echoed in the sky, and thick black smoke began to fill the enchantment. The people who are more familiar with Ichigo can't feel his reyatsu at this time. They both looked solemnly at the direction of the enchantment, and secretly pinched a cold sweat for Ichigo. After Yu Taifung closed his eyes slightly, he regained his faintly faint look again. A faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth and nodded gently. Ah, uh, accompanied by a familiar roar, everyone only felt a majestic reyatsu like a rushing tsunami, instantly sweeping the entire enchantment space. The hollow mask on Ichigo's face reappeared, and his entire body was wrapped in red light, like a bolt of lightning, and he swung his sword towards Tusan Konami. The two green sero flew towards Ichigo again, and Ichigo seemed to have a spirit of seeing death as home, and instantly slammed in front of Tusan Konami. Boom rumble. Thick black smoke rose again with a violent explosion, and everyone was watching the situation in the enchantment closely. After the smoke dissipated, Ichigo fell weakly to the ground, and the black fly incarnation of Tusan Konami also became riddled with holes. It seems like something is going to happen. Is it going to be super reborn? Yu Taifung said with some confusion. After the shaky Tusan Konami made a weird sound, the wound healed was slowly healed at a speed visible to the naked eye. After a while, he recovered as he did when he just returned to the edge. Ah uh ha 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 ha. I won. I won. If I win, then go to death. I saw six huge mirrors in the form of cubes, directly trapping Tusan Konami in them. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. When everyone was about to rush up, they only saw a black shadow that seemed to teleport, appearing behind Tusan Konami out of thin air. For why? At this time, Yu Taifung's face was watery, and he said softly in a tone without any emotions, because he is still alive. Report. Ichigo. Scarlet blood flowed out of Tusan Konami's wound like running water, and in a blink of an eye he fell feebly in a pool of blood. When Yu Taifung just turned and left, he only felt a destructive force coming from behind him. Not good. Reward. I don't know when, a handful of black Zanpakuto has appeared in his hand, and Yu Taifung said indifferently, reflection. After dozens and hundreds of sharp blade cutting sounds, the six mirrors that trapped Tusan Konami also began to shatter. Tusan Konami, who had returned to the human form from the return blade form, asked desperately. It's over. Share. Tusan Konami let out a crazy weird laugh, waved his sharp claws and quickly attacked Ichigo's front door. 
Besides you Typhung, who else? Chapter 120 Liberation and Conspiracy 3. Seeking Subscription. Accompanied by the sound of a broken mirror, Tusan Konami only felt pain from all over her body. D. I saw a puff of blood spurting from his mouth, and then his whole body was wrapped in a cloud of blood mist. Blood permeated the entire enchantment, and Tusan Konami also fell in a pool of blood. He only felt that the original clear and bright vision began to become blurred, and the concentration of spirituality in the body began to suddenly turn down. I like the night sky so much. The night sky reflects the vast world, and the darkness is filled with the faint starlight of countless stars, but dark clouds trying to cover them. I want to be the one who disperses these cloud needs. In order to protect every starlight, I will disperse the dark clouds. A gentle voice unconsciously appeared in Tusan Konami's mind. When his eyes returned to darkness, the gentle watery voice in his mind gradually disappeared. Why are my eyes invisible again? Why has the power I gained disappeared again? Tusan Konami secretly asked in his heart. Why? Tusan Konami asked desperately. Because he is still alive. Yu Taifeng looked at the figure in the pool of blood, and responded indifferently. Seeing Tusan Konami whose vitality was gradually dissipating, Yu Taifeng turned and walked in the direction of Ichigo. At this moment, a destructive force appeared behind him, and Tusan Konami, who had already run out of oil, let out a roar of pain. The crowd onlookers in the distance rushed towards the enchantment after seeing the end of it all. However, at this time, when they felt the sudden destructive force, they couldn't help but start to retreat, all looking nervously at Yu Taifeng and Ichigo not far away. Teacher be careful, Shanghe and others exclaimed in unison. At this critical moment, I saw bursts of green light suddenly flashed in the entire enchantment, and the unconscious Ichigo was directly teleported to everyone. While they were still surprised, they only felt that a majestic force enveloped them, and after a burst of brilliance, they appeared outside the Urahara store on the ground. Space transfer. Transfer so many people at once. This. Is teacher. Forbidden arts don't need to be chanted, this is incredible. The teacher's keto level has reached this point. Dot 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 dot. While everyone was still discussing with each other in shock, they only felt a violent explosion in the sky above their heads. Boom rumble. Along with a burst of dazzling light, I saw a cloud of red mushrooms rising in the sky. Everyone involuntarily looked up at the sky, trying to understand what happened. However, after the mushroom cloud slowly disappeared, there was no trace of Yu Taifung and Tusan Konami in the sky. That's a forbidden technique to penetrate the body, Tessai Sukabishi looked at the sky above his head madly, and said weakly. Tessai, what the hell is going on? Hiroko asked anxiously. At this moment, everyone turned their attention to Tessai Sukabishi, obviously wanting to get answers from him. After Tessai Sukabishi and Urahara Kazuki looked at each other, they sighed heavily and tremblingly said, Tusan Konami has a forbidden technique set by Aizen in his body. What about the teacher? Why is he missing? How could an explosion of that level hurt him? Kuchiki rushed to Tessai's side with a stride, pulling the other's collar and shouting loudly. Although Inoue Orihime and Sato Yasutora, who have been watching the battle on the ground, are full of doubts in their hearts, they have also faintly guessed something. Tessai Sukabishi looked at the excited Shanghai in front of him, then glanced at the others around him, and slowly said, as early as more than a hundred years ago, Aizen abandoned the splitting void of chanting to withstand my attack. Read more at mtlarchive.com. How many years have passed, I am afraid that his keto level has far surpassed mine. I never thought that he would be so despicable that he would leave a triggered forbidden technique on Tusan Konami. Urahara Kazuki lowered his head deeply, and whispered in a hoarse voice, Teacher is to protect Ichigo, to protect us. Using the forbidden technique of space transfer, we moved all of us to the ground. However, even if the forbidden technique is chanted and discarded, it temporarily exhausts all the spiritual power in the body after it is cast. So, although Urahara Kazuki has not finished speaking, his meaning is very clear. When everyone heard what Urahara said, they became silent. For a time, a sad atmosphere enveloped everyone in it. This is impossible, this is impossible, Kuchiki Shanghe suddenly became a little crazy, and his body began to emit a faint purple light. No, Shanghe him. Tessai Sukabishi looked at the faintly out-of-control sounding river, and the expression on his face became a little nervous. Following Shanghe's roar, everyone faintly felt that their Zanpakuto was a little unwilling, and made a trembling sound. Quick, close your heart, otherwise, it will be dangerous. Urahara Kazuki reminded loudly. When the purple light enveloped everyone, a vague black shadow appeared beside everyone. What are you doing? At this critical moment, a familiar voice appeared not far from everyone. When they looked back, they saw Yu Taifeng standing beside a gate with a smile on his face, and Tusan Konami, who was seriously injured and dying, was lying under his feet. Everyone. After hearing Yu Taifeng's voice, Kuchiki Shanghe couldn't help but turned his head and looked not far away. At this time, the purple light of the doctor on his body also slowly dissipated. Yu Taifeng shook his head helplessly, and told everyone what had just happened. It turned out that when he found out about the movement behind him, he had guessed that the vacant soul in Tusan Konami's body was moved by Aizen. After using the space transfer to move everyone to the ground, he took advantage of the, gluttonous, swallowing characteristics to extract the virtual soul from Tusan Konami's body. In order to reduce the impact of the explosion, he used the instant hell penetrating gate to move himself and Tusan Konami to the hell. Everyone looked at Yu Taifung dumbfounded, and didn't know what to say for a while. Zero. Look for flowers. At this moment, Tusan Konami, 
who was left with the last breath, slowly said, Tanayashiro, Tokunata, is he still alive? Everyone except Yu Taifeng naturally became clouded by Tusan Konami's inexplicable words. Only Yu Taifeng knows what this sentence means. Because of the death of Tusan Konami's sweetheart, it caused him to blacken and take refuge in Aizen. And his sweetheart is Sunayashiro Tokunata's wife. More than 500 years ago, when Yu Taifeng first killed the 46th room, the cause of the incident was precisely because of the contemporary young master of the Suna Yadai clan. At that time, Sunayashiro Tokunata, who was only a child, naturally remembered this matter deeply in his heart. Tokunata knew he was not Yu Taifeng's opponent. In order to strengthen his plan of revenge, he later found an excuse to kill his wife at will. Tusan Konami's wife is also Tusan Konami's sweetheart. In fact, Yu Taifeng only remembered this when he killed Sunayashiro Tokunata. Dot 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 dot. Now Tusan Konami knew that he was about to die, and naturally wanted to solve the doubt in his heart. Yu Taifeng looked down at the limp Tusan Konami, nodded gently and said, maybe you can meet in hell. Although Tusan Konami was already satisfied, he felt that he could die without regrets. When he heard the word, hell, he didn't have the slightest fear, and he laughed wildly after returning to the light. Everyone looked at the hysterical Tusan Konami, and finally turned their eyes to the oncoming Yu Taifeng. Suddenly, a gate that was hundreds of meters high slowly appeared in the sky with a terrifying power. On the heavy gate, there are two white skeletons sculpted on the left and right as if they were bowing and saluting. Boom. I don't know if Tusan Konami will meet Sunayashiro Tokunata in hell. Kacha. Accompanied by a crisp sound, Aizen turned his head and looked at the shelf where the, soul beads, were placed not far from the throne. A dignified look slowly appeared on Aizen's face, and he muttered to himself softly, has it failed? It seems that all plans have to be advanced. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. What is this? Yu Taifeng looked up at the gate of hell that was disappearing behind him, smiled and shook his head. In the empty hall, Aizen sat quietly on the throne. He played with the blue-black Hogyoku in his hand, not knowing what he was thinking. Percent 3D. After a loud noise, I saw a sharp blade over a hundred meters long penetrated directly through Tusan Konami's body. He let out a burst of hysterical laughter, and was pulled straight into the gate of the sky by the sharp blade. Who knows? Hueco Mundo, Shuyi Palace. After seeing this weird scene, everyone couldn't help but feel a little shocked. What a terrifying power. At this moment, new conspiracies also began to brew in. I saw hundreds of transparent beads that looked like glass balls arranged in an orderly manner on this shelf. A breath I have never seen before. Chapter 121 The Trail of the Quincy 4. Subscription required. Yu Taifeng looked at the people in front of him, and after telling them roughly what had happened, he turned back and walked to the box where Tusan Konami had fallen. At this time, the prompt sound of the system also appeared in his mind. Ding. The box around the host is detected. Is the host turned on? Turn on. Yu Taifeng secretly said in his heart. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting Reiatsu 50,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining high-speed regeneration. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the nine-phase round kill. Ding. Congratulations to the host for gaining the sword. Following a series of system prompts, the trophies dropped by Tusan Konami were also taken by Yu Taifeng. Because in the communication with Hiroko and others just now, he learned that three Arankars also appeared in the base camp of Hiroko and others. So he decided to pick up the boxes that Grimjow and others dropped, and then go to the warehouse where Hiroko and the others had just fought. P. With a burst of sound, Yu Taifeng rushed into the sky under the gaze of everyone. Teacher, did he have any new discoveries? I didn't sense that there is a special Reiatsu. After so many years, the teacher is still so confusing. Dot 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 dot. After seeing Yu Taifeng flying into the sky, everyone outside the Urahara shop started to talk. Looking at the three boxes floating in the sky, a smile appeared on Yu Taifeng's face. After a brief communication with the system, a series of tones also appeared in his mind. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting Reiatsu 130,000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the claws of the Leopard King. Ding. Grimjow's box dropped a total of 130,000 Reiatsu points, which made Yu Taifeng feel very happy. What made him even more surprised was that Grimjow's ability after returning to the blade was opened in the box the claw of the Leopard King. But this is not the time to experiment, because there are still three boxes waiting for him to pick up at the base camp of Hiroko and others. I saw Yu Taifeng's figure turned into an afterimage, and instantly disappeared into the night sky. A few minutes later, Yu Taifeng also successfully opened the box of Xiaolong and others again. This time, he didn't offer anything surprising, he just got a Reiatsu value of less than 100,000. Rao is so, Yu Taifeng also thinks it is quite good. After all, there was only half of the night. Not only did he get more than 200,000 Reiatsu points, but he also reaped the Gui Blade and the Claw of the Leopard King. Read more at mtlarchive.com. After opening the system panel and checking it, Yu Taifeng found that his Reiatsu value had reached more than 700,000, which was only one step away from breaking through 800,000. Although Reiatsu is worth this kind of thing, it looks like a boring line of numbers in the system interface. However, Yu Taifeng is very clear in his mind that Yamamoto, the most peak state after, Bankai, only has a Reiatsu value of more than 200,000. Now, 
Yu Taifeng can say responsibly that he is definitely the first person in this world. Even if you don't use those other auxiliary things in battle, using Reiatsu alone can shock most people. At this moment, he has to move towards a higher realm, and start to think of ways to detach from Shinigami's world. But for now, we still have to wait for Aizen to research the mature and complete Hogyoku. After making up his mind, Yu Taifeng rushed towards the Urahara store. After tossing for so long, he also needs to take a dip in the hot spring of the Urahara store. As he was about to return, two weak waves of Reiatsu in the distance caught his attention. Among them, there is a breath of Reiatsu that exudes Ishida Ryu. Yu Taifeng knew who the owner of the other Reiatsu was without even thinking about it. Who else but Ishida Yulong's father, Ishida Ryuxian? It stands to reason that Ishida Ryuxian helped his son regain his ability, which has nothing to do with Yu Taifeng. But when he thought about the Quincyan medal that Ishida Ryujin had shown to Ishida Ryu in Shinigami's original work, he couldn't help but think of an organization that he almost forgot. Star Cross Knights, Karakura Town, in the underground space of a hospital. Ishida Ryu Shenjung helps Yulong do recovery training. Yulong, you are really an untalented person. I still can't figure out why you chose to inherit the clothes of the Quincy in the first place. Ishida Ryujin gently supported his glasses with a disdainful expression on his face. Ishida Ryuxian, since you have promised me, then you have to do what you say. I also promise you that I will never have any contact with those Shinigami in the future. As long as you can help me regain my former strength, Ishida Yulong said blankly. Ishida Ryushuan didn't know when he took a cigarette in his hand. After lighting the cigarette in Ran's hand, he gently exhaled a burst of white smoke. Then he looked at Yulong who was panting not far away, and said with a cold snort, Yulong, do you call your father like this? To be honest, I really think you should give up the idea of regaining your strength. While the two were still arguing, an inexplicable spatial fluctuation appeared not far away from them. After a while, I saw a figure slowly appearing in this spiritual subspace. Both naturally found this inexplicable intruder, but when they saw clearly who came, a different expression appeared on their faces. Long time no see, Yu Taifeng smiled at Shi Tian Longxian not far away, and said hello first. At this moment, both of them have their own thoughts in their hearts. Ishida Yulong naturally knew what terrifying power his teacher possessed. Thank you for reading this story at hotmtnovel.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Teacher, Ishida Yulong bowed. Are Yu Taifeng and Ishida Longxian old acquaintances? Ishida Yulong is also curiously looking at the two people who are looking at each other, not knowing what kind of intersection they have ever had. On the contrary, Ishida Longxian not far away, after hearing Yu Taifeng's words, his face was full of shock. He would never have thought that his son would still be the other student. Reward. Although Ishida Yulong was listening in the clouds and mist at this time, he still stood quietly and didn't say much. Yu Taifeng smiled and nodded to Yulong, then looked at Ishida Longxian's body. Yu Taifeng looked at each other with a smile, and asked, I wonder if you have heard of the Knights of the Star Cross. Me, I didn't expect that you would be Yulong's teacher. Ishida Ryuxian showed a bitter smile on his face, and said helplessly, shaking his head. When Ishida Ryuxian saw the uninvited Yu Taifeng, he couldn't help but think about the day when he was seriously injured 201.6 years ago. Dot 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 dot. However, when he saw the scene in front of him, he also had a faint guess. Share. Report. The familiar stranger in front of him gave him an unspeakable taste. Chapter 122 Transaction Cooperation 1. Subscription Required In a large space constructed entirely by Link C, a blonde young man wearing a white robe was looking up and staring at a white throne not far away. After a long time, he bowed his head deeply, not knowing what was thinking in his mind. At this time, a soft footstep came from behind him. The blonde man turned around and drew out his sword, looking coldly at the strange intruder in front of him. Shinigami, this is not the place where you still came. The blonde man said, looking at the strange figure who stopped walking not far away. Unexpectedly, this place really exists. The strange man said to himself with a kind smile on his face. Boom. A horrible Reiatsu burst out of the blonde man in an instant, and rushed straight towards the strange man in the distance. Introduce myself. I am Aizen Sosuke. I am glad to meet you. Aizen still has a smile on his face, as if he is not an intruder. Although the blonde man's complexion eased a little, he still said in an indifferent tone, backquote backquote the breath of death 07 and the virtual breath that you have on you are really very unpleasant. I have already said that this is not the place for you to come. Before I am angry, I advise you to leave as soon as possible. Aizen was not only not angry after hearing what the other party said, but the smile on his face became deeper. He smiled and said, Although I don't know how many generations you have passed on, are you really not curious, where is the ethereal king that you and your ancestors have always adhered to? As soon as Aizen's voice fell, a sharp sword light had already hit him quickly. His figure flickered and escaped the attack effortlessly, and walked a few steps forward again, looking at the blonde young man earnestly, as if he wanted to find some answer from him. How did you find this place? How would you know about the king? After the blonde young man swung a sword, he stared at Aizen and asked. It seems that you are finally interested, but shouldn't you let me know your name? After all, the story I want to tell is quite long. Aizen chuckled and said. The blonde youth was silent for a while, and finally responded Aizen said, Yuglin Hasward. 
Aizen smiled and nodded, and began to tell Haswar the story he brought. Karakura Town, in the spiritual space of a hospital underground. After Ishida Ryuxian heard what Yu Taifeng had just said, his face was full of shock. The conversation between Yu Taifeng and Long Xian had made Yu Long's mind puzzled. Now, when he saw his father's reaction, he couldn't help but become more curious. What is it that can make his calm and indifferent father so abnormal? For a while, all three people on the court fell into silence, not knowing what they were thinking in their hearts. Read more at mtlarchive.com. After a long time, Long Xian's mood finally calmed down, and he asked in a puzzled tone, How did you know the Star Cross Knights? What's this again? Yu Taifeng smiled and said, Of course I have something to deal with when I ask them. As for the reason, you don't need to know. Long Xian looked at Yu Taifeng, who was completely impenetrable in front of him, sighed softly, looked at Ishida Yulong and said, Yulong, you go home first, we have something to talk about. Teacher, this, Yu Taifeng glanced at Ishida Yulong who was hesitant to speak, nodded and said, Go back, remember to go to class tomorrow. After Yu Long left this space, Long Xian slowly took out a silver cross medal from his trouser pocket, his eyes full of memories. This Quincy Killer medal was left to me by my father. Although he had the opportunity to join the Star Cross Knights, but for some reason, he seemed to have learned a secret. Not only did he never show his complete body of the Quincy again, he even gave me this medal. In fact, not only Yu Long, even I actually don't know what the Star Cross Knights do. Yu Taifeng looked at the dragon string in front of him with interest, and asked with a smile, Then why do you behave a little abnormally after hearing the Star Cross Knights? Long Xian shook his head and smiled bitterly. He looked at Yu Taifeng seriously and said, Because my father once said that this medal is a key to becoming the Star Cross Knights. Although, I don't know what his role is. But when I thought about my father's actions back then, I couldn't help but feel that there might be some secrets in this medal, a big secret that our Ishida family can't bear. If you are interested, this medal will be given to you. After all, my father's death made me understand a truth. If you don't have the power of one thing, just let it go. This is also the real reason why I am unwilling to use the power of the Quincy. And I have been suppressing Yulong, in fact, just to let him live a normal life. Especially when I learned that he had been to Soul Society once, I became more determined about this idea in my heart. At this moment, the plot in Shinigami's original book could not help but reappear in Yu Taifeng's mind. As a pure-blooded genius Quincy, Ishida Ryuxian has rarely used his power. When he faced his son, Yulong, he was also deliberately ridiculing and suppressing. After referring to some plots of the original book, Yu Taifeng also chose to believe in Longxian. Since you are willing to give me that thing, then I won't take your things for nothing. Let me owe you a favor. Yu Taifeng also simply said, decisively all the thoughts in his heart. Long Xian bowed his head again and pondered for a long time, and then threw the quinquez in his hand to Yu Taifeng without hesitation 767. Percent 3D. When Hasward heard Aizen's story, a strange light flashed in his eyes. He still said indifferently, whether these are true or false, you probably won't tell me so many things for no reason. What is your purpose? After Aizen heard these words, the smile on his face gradually disappeared, and he said coldly, because the initiator of all this is the person I said. Because he is our common enemy. Tell me his name, Hasward said. However, Aizen was not in a hurry to answer the other party's question. He gently raised his hand and knocked in the air, only to see a black crack appeared beside him. After a while, two figures slowly emerged from the crack, bowed to Aizen and stood silently. Aizen looked at Hasward not far away, the corners of his mouth raised slightly and said, I think you should be interested in them. The breath of Quinsoner and imaginary mixture. Hasward could not help but gain some interest at this time, and said in a puzzled tone. Seeing his plan move forward again, Aizen's face raised a bright smile. He glanced at the two figures next to him, and said, Ibang, Fregan, show your strength. Chapter 123 End of Eucharist 2. Subscription required. Yu Taifeng took the quencher metal thrown by Ishida Longxian and played with it in his hand. After a while, he had already seen the end. He looked at Ishida Ryujin who was relieved not far away, smiled and said, Remember that I owe you a favor, so let's come here today. Ishida Longxian looked at Yu Taifeng who opened the barrier with his hand, and sighed deeply. Every husband is not guilty of his crime. Although everyone understands this truth, there are still very few who can be as decisive as Ishida Ryujin. For Yu Taifeng, today is destined to be a lucky day. After leaving the Link Sea space under the hospital, his figure turned into an afterimage and hurried towards the top of a mountain on the outskirts of Karakura. If his guess is correct this time, then he is likely to enter a new understanding. I don't know when, both Yibang and Fregan standing beside Aizen are holding a silver cross in their hands. Following Aizen's order, two large strands of Reiatsu spewed out of them. Countless blue spirits began to gather in the hands of the two, and soon a huge spirit bow appeared in their hands. I saw Yibang and Fregan making a bow and archery movement, and two red light arrows also appeared on their Link Sea bows. Swish, swish. Accompanied by a whistling sound of breaking through the air, I saw the two red light arrows swiftly attacking the top of this space. Boom rumble, rumbling. When the red light arrow hit the invisible barrier at the top, it directly produced a violent explosion. Two clusters of red mushroom clouds rose slowly, as if they were about to break through the barrier to them. After a while, the red and black smoke began to slowly dissipate. 
After demonstrating their abilities, Yi Bang and Fregan turned and bowed to Aizen, and then respectfully stepped aside again. Hasward's original indifferent expression gradually began to ease. He looked at the two people beside Aizen with interest, and finally showed a faint smile. It's really unexpected, it turns out that there are still quinces who can use Sero in this world. Hasward said. A sly light flashed in Aizen's eyes, still looking at the calm Hasward with a subtle look on his face. Then he responded softly, finding them in the boundless, Hueco Mundo, but it took me a lot of effort. So now, I think we should also talk about how to cooperate. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Hasward looked at Aizen who was talking freely, and the expression on his face couldn't help becoming serious. He glanced at Yibang and Fregan who stood respectfully next to Aizen, and said softly, you are really a terrible guy. Just thinking about the ambition you have shown makes people shudder. So now, let's talk about your terms first. Aizen stroked her light brown hair lightly with her hand, and walked slowly in the direction of Hasward. Dot 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 dot. Percent 3D. Dot 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 dot. After Yu Taifung reached the top of the mountain, he took out the Quincy medal that Ishida Ryuxian gave him. Under the moonlight, this silver pentagram medal exudes a faint silver light. After playing around for a while, Yu Taifung mobilized Reiatsu in his body and began to verify the guess in his heart. A majestic Reiatsu burst out of his body like a flood bursting a bank, covering the entire mountain in an instant. A burst of shocking power made the air tremble. The quiet spirit around the top of the mountain also began to become active at this time. After a while, countless blue spirits surrounded Yu Taifung as if he was wearing a blue cloak. As time passed, the Link Si who originally surrounded Yu Taifung seemed to turn into a blue stream and began to merge into the silver pentagram metal in his hand. Ohm. An ethereal sound came from the silver metal in his hand, and the soft blue light gradually became a little dazzling. At this moment, Yu Taifung only felt a sense of blood connection between himself and the pentagram metal. He mobilized the power of the Quincy in his body to try to awaken the metal that had been sleeping for a long time. Crack. A crisp sound came from Yu Taifung's hands, and the school metal was broken directly. As time passed, a huge blue pentagram slowly appeared on top of his head, and a pair of wings composed entirely of spirits was also slowly flapping behind him. When the light dissipated, Yu Taifung also showed a satisfied smile on his face. Because now, through the metal in his hand, he can easily feel many obscure or as he has never seen before. In fact, this metal is not only the key to develop the power of the Quincy in his body, but also the radar for feeling, companion. There are dozens and hundreds of different auras, with intricate branches in various places. Yu Taifung felt the changes that had taken place in her body, and could not help but think of the scenes of the Quincy clan fighting in Shinigami's original work. At this moment, the characteristics that he has manifested after activating the metal are astonishingly the perfect Eucharist of the Quincy. Since the power of the Quincy has been ignored by him, it can bring him such a surprise. Then he also decided to start looking for the Star Cross Knights while Aizen was studying Hogyoku. After all, Mie Shakshu and Erenkar have made him feel a little tired, and it is time to refocus his attention on this special group. I don't know what kind of good things can be drawn from the fallen box, Zhao Wang Zhao of the Quincy of the Star Cross Knights. Yu Taifung secretly asked in his heart. In the next moment, he lifted his state of complete Eucharist, and disappeared into an afterimage. Dot 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 dot. Aizen, after discussing the countermeasures with Hasward, opened the black chamber and left the space. Hasward glanced at the fading black crack, then turned his gaze back to Yibang and Fregan in front of him. In fact, up to now, he has been very wary of Aizen who came to visit suddenly. Because, he could feel an unusually dangerous breath from the opponent's body. However, since Aizen gave him two, men, for nothing, then he would not be polite to each other. After all, what anomalous Quincy like Ebon and Fregan might still play a key role. At this moment, Hasward faintly has a plan of his own. Chapter 124 Malice from the Dark 3. Seeking Subscription. Months ago. Soul Society, Great Spirit Book Gallery. Aizen looked serious and stood in front of a huge touchscreen instrument, not knowing what he was busy with. I saw that his hand kept tapping the screen in front of him, and he made thinking movements from time to time. When he was about to perform a page-turning operation, he was attracted by a file on the screen. After checking, a look of surprise flashed in Aizen's eyes. When he checked the file again, he nodded lightly, with a smile like an enlightenment on his face. However, he did not stop the operation in his hands, but continued to search for relevant clues based on his own guesses. After more than an hour, Aizen turned off the instrument in front of him, and a figure like his dream monster slowly appeared in his mind. Zaraki district a thousand years ago. The corpse of the Quincy king. Aizen muttered to herself in some confusion, not knowing what was in her mind. Hueco Mundo, Shuyi Palace. After just ending a negotiation, Aizen returned to the palace of the night. Master Aizen. A tender voice came into Aizen's ears. It is the Kukabro that many Arankars have been amazed by before. With an innocent smile on his face, he jumped to the side of Aizen who had just walked out of the black cavity. 767 Aizen, they don't want to play with me, I'm so boring. Kuchabro said to Aizen with his mouth curled. Aizen gently touched Kukabro's head with his hand, and said with a smile, wait a little longer, the fun thing will be finished soon. Master Aizen can't lie to me, otherwise I'll be angry. The childlike Kuchabro pulled the corner of Aizen's white robe, and started to act coquettishly. It will be over soon. 
Go to the Mano's Grande Forest by yourself. I still have something to deal with. Aizen's eyes flashed a sly light and responded softly. He watched the little back figure gradually disappearing at the entrance of the hall, turned and walked towards his throne. In a certain Link C space, Hasward looked at Evon and Fregan in front of him, and couldn't help but think again of the shocking secret Aizen had just told him. All the ancestors of the Quincy, the noble king of Quincy Yuwach, actually died as early as a thousand years ago. According to Aizen's speculation, Yuwach's death may be related to a man named Yu Taifung in Seoul Society's Zaraki district. Although Aizen said that these were only his speculations, Hasward could clearly feel the AHBG affirmation in the other's tone. A thousand years ago, the twenty-five quintiles who were empowered by Yuwach all believed that their king would return. Read more at mtlarchive.com. Over time, many people have actually raised objections. The long wait for thousands of years has made the glory of the Star Knights no longer exist. However, the Star Knights and their descendants have always believed that Yuwach will definitely have the day when the king returns. However, when Hasward saw Aizen today, he felt that the anticipation and watchfulness of these thousand years were like flowers in a mirror. At this moment, there is only one thought in Hasward's mind, that is, no matter whether what Aizen said is true or false, he will find the person named Yu Taifung. Maybe only he really knows all the truth hidden behind this. Thinking of this, Hasward couldn't help but look at the two respectful people beside him. Aizen gave him a gift, Ebon and Fregan who have the abilities of both the Quincy and Erenkar at the same time. When Hasward thought of the person Aizen said and the strange Zanpakuto he had, he had a nearly perfect plan in his heart. Ibang, Fregan, I have a task for you. As Hathward spoke, he took out two palm-sized blue gems as if conjure. Ibang and Fregan looked at the two gems in Hasward's hand, with doubts in their eyes. I'll tell you the usage of these two gems. Hasward looked serious and began to tell. In the afternoon of the next day, Yu Taifung, who had finished his work day, left the school and walked towards the pub that he frequented. At this moment, Shihuan Yorichi and Inoue Orihime appeared at a crossroad not far away. Teacher, Inoue Orihime yelled loudly while standing on tiptoe and waving at Yu Taifung. Yoruichi, who was standing next to Orihime, pulled her gently, and the two ran towards Yu Taifung together. It turned out to be Yoruichi and Orihime, haha. Yu Taifung smiled and greeted the two, but there was a burst of doubt in his heart. Teacher, didn't you agree to go shopping with me and Orihime the day before yesterday? Yoruichi said softly, a little embarrassed. Yes, yes, I didn't expect that the teacher would be willing to go shopping with our girls. Orihime said with a bright smile on his face, hugging Yorichi's arm and said happily. Yu Taifung was still a little confused at first after hearing the words of the two, and it took him a while to react, what Yorichi had said the day before the dinner with Urahara and others. However, if he remembers correctly, he doesn't seem to answer directly to the respondent either. Yu Taifung smiled helplessly twice, and was embarrassed to refute the two people's face. So now, he can only walk behind the two in the direction of the pedestrian street. While Yu Taifun was still thinking about when to look for the members of the Star Cross Knights, he only felt a soft feeling in his right arm. When he returned to look at it, he saw Inoue Orihime holding his arm and urging softly, Teacher, hurry up. You can't keep up with us. This scene is naturally seen clearly by Yorichi not far away. Who would have thought that she snorted coldly, and took a few steps to Yu Taifun's left side, not to be outdone, and hugged Yu Taifun's left arm in a way. At this moment, although Yu Taifun wanted to remind the two of them, he didn't know how to speak. Because he can't tell Yorichi and Orihime that my unicorn arm doesn't hurt you, right? Teacher, let's not go to fight and kill today. Let's go to the movie first. Yorichi stood on tiptoe and whispered. Yu Taifung. A few hours later, it was already late at night. The three of Yu Taifung walked on a small road unhurriedly under the moonlight. I don't know why, Yorichi and Orihime seem to have something on their minds, and they are not as lively as they were during the day. Yu Taifung didn't ask too much, walking in front alone, still thinking about the Star Cross Knights. At this time, I saw Yorichi gritted his teeth secretly, and Shunpo came to Yu Taifung's side, as if he was hesitant to speak. Yu Taifung glanced at Yorichi with a smile, and then continued to figure out the next plan. After Yorichi felt Yu Taifung's soft gaze, a faint red glow appeared on his face. Orihime looked at the back of the two, lowered their heads not knowing what they were thinking. Suddenly, a dazzling red light arrow hits Orihime's back quickly with bursts of sound. Chapter 125 Uninvited 4 For Subscription after Yu Taifung activated his own Eucharist, he already had a preliminary plan. A few months ago, when he killed Yanya in Soul Society, he obtained the, still blood suit, from the box dropped by the opponent. In fact, from that time on, he had considered exploring the power of the Quincy in his body. However, he has not found a suitable opportunity. However, just yesterday, he would never have thought that an unintentional act of himself would actually open the perfect Eucharist in the form of his own Quincy. And the metal can also be like a radar, helping him find the quintessences hidden in the dark. From the time he traveled to the Shinigami world, Yu Taifung has not yet killed a Quincy. This also made him look forward to something, the mysterious Quincy and the members of the Star Cross Knights, what good things can the fallen box open? While Yu Taifung was still thinking about it, he only felt that Yorichi Shunpo was by his side. He glanced at Yorichi who was hesitant to talk, and he naturally guessed in his heart what was there. At this moment, a whistling sound came from behind Yu Taifung. Yorichi, 
who walked side by side with him, naturally felt the sneak attack from behind. However, when both of them turned to guard, they found that the target of the sneak attacker turned out to be Inoue Orihime walking alone behind. I saw that Yu Taifung and Yoruichi turned into an afterimage at the same time, appearing beside Orihime at almost the same time. Yu Taifung instantly took out Zanpakuto from the system backpack. After pouring the Reiatsu into the blade, he decisively swung the blade to block the red light arrow. Boom! The red light arrow made a violent explosion on its way to the sky due to its change of direction. At this time, a strange man wearing a white quinsado robe with long black and white hair was looking at the three people on the ground indifferently. It was a very troublesome thing to find you, but I didn't expect you to reveal your whereabouts by yourself. It seems that you are not as smart as you think. Standing on the volley, Fregan shook his right hand and made a bow and arrow movement again. When Fregan was ready to attack again, the huge Link Sea bow that was more than two meters long in his hand gradually began to emit a dazzling blue light. After a while, a red light arrow exuding violent energy slowly condensed out. Teacher Yoruichi said softly with a serious face. You and Orihime protect yourself. Yu Taifung turned into an afterimage and appeared in the air. He looked at the strange man not far away with interest, with a slight doubt in his heart. It's a bit surprising to be able to use Sero's Quincy. Yu Taifung said with a smile. Swish. Yu Taifung had just finished speaking, and he saw the red light arrow that was about to hit him. Read more at mtlarchive.com. After swinging a sword into this attack, he couldn't help but become more interested in the guy who was coming from unknown. At this time, a blue light hit Yu Taifung quickly again. After swinging the sword into the blue light again, the playful smile on Yu Taifung's face gradually disappeared. Although, he was full of interest in the mysterious sneak attacker in front of him. But, it's just interested. After the other party repeatedly, sneak attack, Yu Taifung decided to kill him first, and then look for clues from the dropped box. Eat everything. Chaos gluttony. Bankai. Yu Taifung let out a soft drink, and when he was preparing for, Bankai, he had no intention of keeping his hands. A majestic Reiatsu gushed out from his body, and there was a roaring wind. However, the, gluttonous, in his hand turned out to be out of order. Um, Yu Taifung snorted coldly, and didn't say much. On the contrary, he was more curious about the origin of the other party. Wire. A huge Reiatsu erupted from Fregan's body, and his whole body also changed strangely under a dazzling blue light. When the blue light gradually dissipated, a humanoid monster covered in black and white scales slowly revealed his figure. Roar. After he let out a roar, he waved the shining red javelin in his hand and screamed towards Yu Taifung's location. Going edge, it's interesting. Yu Taifung did not panic at all because of Zanpakuto being restricted. He came directly to Shunpo behind the opponent, and slashed with a sword with a cold expression on his face. Zero. Look for flowers. What are you waiting for? Yi bang. Quick, quick. After Fregan let out an angry shout, he quickly turned around to resist Yu Taifung's attack from behind. Boom rumble. A violent Reiatsu spewed out from Yu Taifung's body, and hit Fregan in front of him impartially. Uh, dot 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 dot. With a scream, Fregan's body fell straight down like a puddle of mud, and a puff of scarlet blood spurted out of his mouth. At this moment, a dark shadow suddenly appeared behind Yoruichi and Orihime. Yoruichi, who has a much higher spirit sense than Orihime, did not hesitate. She pushed Orihime out decisively and turned to face the attacker who suddenly attacked behind her. Boom. A violent explosion echoed in the sky, and Yoruichi seemed to look up at Yu Taifung's direction. At this moment, a terrifying Reiatsu seemed to hit Yoruichi's body impartially with a mighty force. Three days shield, Huo Wuju, Mei Yan, Lily, Inoue Orihime, who was pushed out by Yoruichi, let out a soft drink. I saw a triangular light shield emitting golden light, which appeared in front of Yoruichi after quickly condensing. After feeling the sudden disappearance of Fregan's breath, Yi Bang secretly said that it was not good. When he saw the figure rushing down from the sky, he gritted his teeth fiercely, as if he had made some difficult decision. A violent Reiatsu instantly enveloped Yoruichi, and Orihime behind her was also blown upside down by the howling wind that Reiatsu rolled up. Boom rumble. The explosion in the sky had just ended, and the next moment a cloud of red mushrooms rose on the ground. Although Yu Taifung's reaction was already quite fast, when he first used the space movement prohibition technique, an explosion on the ground had already occurred. Dot 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 dot. There is no doubt that Yibang must have used some kind of self-destruct ban decisively when he knew he was invincible. Yoruichi and Orihime were seriously injured by the violent explosion just now, and both of them have fallen into a coma at this moment. Yu Taifung ignored the system prompts that appeared in his mind, and decisively carried the two of them on his shoulders. It turned into an afterimage and instantly disappeared into the night, 